right? We out here to show the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians that y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible, and y'all need to repent and come back to your God and follow the laws, statutes, and commandments so that we can get the hell up out of this place, man. Right? Because this thing ain't no cakewalk. In Matthew chapter 19, and verse 29. Right. <coughs> Get, uh, get Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. This thing ain't no cakewalk, man. Right? Hey, brothers go through a lot up in this room, man. Right? But we know that we have to go through a lot. Right? We got to give up a lot when we enter into this room, man. So that we can be accepted by the Most High God. Right? So that we can be deemed acceptable in the day of the Lord. Because His coming is really coming. Alright? Hey, these is just the beginning of sorrows, man. Hey, but that time is creeping up, right, each and every day, right? On each and every news article, right? And all we got to do is hearken it to him, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be safe. Hey, but if we don't come back to the Most High God, then we screwed. We don't got no bunkers. We don't got no protection. We don't have no power. We don't have no comfort, man. If we don't have comfort, power, and praise up for y'all about some y'all shot. Right, bring that up. Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 29. No. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, so or got, mother. So you got to give up a lot in this truth, man. Forsake houses, sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers, man. All hope, like we got to forsake friends, man. Up in this truth. Right? Keep reading. God. Or father or mother, or wife, or children, or lands. Hey, you see that, man? It say lands, wives, children. If they not getting down with it, hey, you just got to do that thing, man. You got to kind of cast them to the side, man. If your right hand offend you, man, cut it off. Man. It's better for you to be limbless in this world than, than to burn when that nuclear fire comes, man. You get it all back. I don't need it. All right, keep reading. Or children or lands. Right. For my name's sake. For his what? For my, my name's sake. Hey, we, we choose to cut all those things off, man, that don't help us progress up in the truth, man. Right? That could be friends. Hey, that could be all manners of relationships up in this thing, man. We choose to cast that to the side, right, to have a close right relationship with you. How about you be all shot? Right? Keep reading. For my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold. Shall what? Receive it hundredfold. Hey man, so hey, no matter the, the you might miss the little love that you that you got from your little boot thing, man. Huh? You might miss the company of your friends that you used to have up in the world, man. Right? But the Lord said that you will receive it one hundredfold. You gonna have one hundred times of the comfort that you had up in that friendship or in that relationship or in whatever in whatever you you uh, whatever you will, man. Huh? Right? You will have a hundredfold more land than you did up in this world, man. Huh? Right? So all That's of this right. Happened, right? It's more than that. And shall inherit everlasting life. Hey, and that's the that's the key, man. We want everlasting life, man. Huh? And everlasting life is not gonna be all eternity with them Esau chasing you down, man. Huh? Right? Everlasting life is not gonna be with you having to walk to and fro, man, in this wicked-ass land, man, knowing that your life hangs in the balance, man. Right? Everlasting life is everlasting peace and comfort, man. Right? Hey, brother, you know your nationality, King? <laughs> yeah, I'm a rock. You, you said you're a what? I'm a rock. You see, I'm a rock? Oh, Lord, in Christ, man. You see that, man? That brother, hey, that's just, hey, 2020, right? 2020, they call you more, man. Right? Ain't not no damn Moroccan. Your ass is brought on slave ships over here. <laughs> You're not from no damn Morocco. Well, Lou, you notice he had to laugh first. Right. You don't even take yourself serious, damn right. clown. Yeah, how you know you you Moroccan? You're not Moroccan, brother. All right? You an Israelite, man. See, and those, we just going Hey, man, we just... Man, read that next verse. Verse 30. But many that are first shall be last. It said what? Many that are first... Be and a lot of people had an opportunity to get this truth before we did, man. Right? Hey, but they might come in at the last. Right? 
brother like that, he might come in at the last, right? Right? Read. And the last shall be first. See, and the last shall be first, man. Right? Those are things that we look forward to, man. When we come up into the truth, we some of the last that might get into this truth, man. We some of the last that, that might hearken unto the Lord. Hey, we got to take pride in that. Because we want to kind of be first up in the kingdom of heaven, man. Uh, right? I want that first nice comfy seat, man, up in the kingdom. Right? Read that. Nice uh, 14 and verse 22. This is Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. Bring it up. Confirming the souls of the disciples. It said what? Confirming, confirming the souls of the disciples. See, and this is what we do it for. We want our souls to be confirmed by the Most High God. Bro. Because the Lord said, man, if we follow in his footsteps, the word considered disciples. Bro. Right? We're his disciples. Read that again. Confirming the souls of the disciples. Read. And exhorting them. To continue with the faith. See, and we want to exhort our brothers and sisters to continue up in the faith. Right? Get uh first Peter chapter 15 and verse uh uh first Peter chapter 3 and verse 15. All right? Can you read? And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. It said what? And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. See that? Through but through everything we gotta through everything that we go through, man, right? Through all the tribulation, man, we we gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. Right? All we gotta do is endure until the end, and then we'll be saved from all of this travail and all of this misery and, and all of this vile disgustedness of this land, man. right? So, lucky, I didn't want that. Let's get Philippians chapter uh, one and verse seventeen. We'll go I was shot through you and all of you. <laughs> See? One, two, three, four gathered. He in the midst. He had to get his precept off. <laughs> See that, man? It ain't really nobody outside like that, man. Hey, but you you can always count on 12 to be outside. Just pulling people over, man. I don't know like under the <laughs> Yeah, his head like underneath this car. That's wild, man. See that, man? I said, I said, chapter 2 and verse 1, right? My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. It said, what? Prepare thy soul for temptation. See, now when you up in the truth, man, hey, it's important. Hey, that should be everybody's top precept, man. That should be everybody's top precept. Because you think that you in this truth uh, and that you go wake up everybody. That was my problem. I thought I could wake up everybody that I talked to, man. Hmm. And I was and I was over there parking. Right? I was I was at everybody's neck, man. Right? And then low-key hurt because you you realize that you're this special people, right? But don't nobody really want to hear that, man. Everybody wanna be damn African American, right? Everybody wanna be Mexican or Dominican. Right. Everybody wants to be damn Moroccan. The hell is that, man? Alright? Everybody want to be a Moorish American and everything except for what they really are, man, which is an Israelite, man, God's chosen people. Why would you want to be, right, the dirt and the filth, man? Why would you want to be a curse? Why would you want to be a curse instead of being the most high God's chosen people, man? Why is it like that for our people? Our people don't know any better, man. Actually, I'll say that they do. In the spirit, they do know better, right? They kind of, but they get comfortable with they demons. Hey, it's a lot. Yeah. And this is a crazy thing, yeah. like, they all holler about how they're damn more. But that's as far as you went back, because you found out that the Moors had all this prominence about themselves. So you stopped there, thinking that that pushed you on a pedestal. But what you fail to realize is, is that Morocco was a landmass with Moroccans. Right. Damn heathen. Right. Right? Israelites through the first diaspora, traveled to Morocco, right. set up shop there like we do everywhere else, and we brought, like it tell you in Babylon from Timbuktu, God. page 96, we brought everything there. God. The teachers, the architecture, the literature, the writing, the this, that, and the third. So when you go to Holland about you or more, you need to find out that those Moors that you thinking you are were really Israelites. God, bring this up. Uh, Philippians chapter 1 and verse uh, 17. Can we see you before? Yeah. 
Chapter 1 and verse 17. Wait, I just want to set it this way. What, what, what Nadine just said, man. Right? They don't go back. And it's just the ignorance of our people, man. They'll think Moroccan. And they'll, they'll say that they're Moroccan. And that more is short for Moroccan. But Morocco, the, 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 the short for Morocco would be more. But that only got one R. I mean, it only got one O. More is spelled with two O's, man. Oh. Like how stupid do our people gotta be, man? They don't even see. Like they they can't put the puzzle pieces together. Uh, uh, so like it, one more, and then they gotta remember back during that time, everybody that was of dark pigmentation were called more. Right. It meant black. Right. That's all it means. Bro. Not because you was from the land mass, just because you was black. See that? Honestly, like I don't even know funny. Like, but even when you look into who the Moors were during the during that time period. It says, it don't say just, it says Arabs, it says Native Africans, yeah. and it says, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. people. Just all, the the, people. All, the, all the Semitic people. Right. Right? Right. right. No anti-Semitism. When, when, when it talks yeah. about the Moors and invaders of Spain, it, it talks about the Arabs and the blacks when they right. together. Exactly. Now read that. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 17. But the other of love. Know it that I am set for the defense of the gospel. And see, if that brother would have spent some time, man, right, we would have defended this thing against what he thinks he is a Moor, man. Right? He said Moroccan. He didn't even say he a Moor. Like he just he just went all the way out, man. Sure. Hey, maybe he is that type of heathen though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> hey, you, you want to hey, read him so bad? Say, uh, spirit bell with you. So, yeah, you know that's real. I, and we know we are been mixing with everybody, so, you know what I mean? This damn name, but he I look just like us, but you go down the line, see that? his daddy might be somebody. Yeah, chocolate-covered Edomite, man. Right. 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 Chocolate-covered uh, Moroccan. Right. Okay, you know what I mean? Or he might just be a chocolate-covered, chocolate-covered Nihilotin. Yeah, for real. Or a light-skinned Nihilotin. See that? No, that's how it is, man. Our people don't really know any better. Like, right? like, like case in point, in the NBA right now, in, in, in ball, it's a player by the name of uh, Bo Bo. Yeah. A new Bo son. Yeah. Uh. He play, he hoop, he look like an Israelite physically. Yeah. Like hooping wise, but that's because his mother's an Israelite. Right. But we know who his daddy is. Man, but it's making him. See that, man? For real, man. Brother, Bo is one of the Damn yeah, hell, man. Yeah. Hamites to come to the, come over here and play ball. Exactly. Like, when I first got with for the truth, I was like, man, that makes sense. Cause if if all Africans are the same, why don't they go over there and just start recruiting ball players? All them dudes is super super tall. Like, for real. Like, when I was a kid, there was this movie called The Air Up There. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where, where they basically went over there and did that. You know what I mean? Right. But the brothers that they brought back, the brothers. You know. See that, man? So. They, and they know that it's something special about us, bro. Right. These Negroes not like them Africans. That's basically what they say. Right. right? We want these type of brothers to play for us because we can make we can profit off of them. Anyway, but the people on the land mass, they know the difference. I mean, you know you got your Bantus, you know what I mean? The Bantus are Israelites. You got your Ebo, you got your Shantis, right? Yeah. You got your Yorubas, you got, Yorubas. Yeah. You got, the, you got all these different tribes. But over here in America, we we it's like prison. Right. Because you know I mean? see you gotta remember. When they when they was when they came for the transatlantic slave trade to snatch us from off the west coast banks of Africa, 90 percent of who they went after to bring here was Judah. Right. The original Igbo, the original bloodline. Right. They brought ninety percent of us here. But right. well, what we tend to forget is that a lot of our brothers are never came. They still was over there. Exactly. Right? So when we be thinking like, oh, them just ham, no, right. like you like the brother, like you just said. It's still some of us over there still mixed in with them damn Hamites. And, and exactly. Still, and, still, and that's only prophecy. Right. They didn't come on the slave ship. They still got they, you know what I mean, got they ox getting right. slain before their eyes. You know what I mean? They yeah. got cattle getting taken from us. They still been doing no stuff. Exactly. Uh, you know? Like Deuteronomy 28 and 32 says that uh, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right. Right, so, so if their eyes that? shall look and fail with longing for them all the day. Who's going to be the one that's over there looking and failing with longing for us, man? Right. It's the people that got left over there while we got taken, right? And when, and when they, and like like I said, the eye, like they looked over here for help. Huh. They looked to the American Negro to say, come save us. See that? Hey, but if you leave it to them, man, right, they, they'll just generalize one whole continent, man. 
and say that these are all black people, right? right? Which they, they will be correct, but it, they just not us, man. But no they dark skin, right. but they just not us, man. Bring that up, man. It's Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? Because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, right? That thou shalt be no priest to me. See now, we we'd have been we'd have been rejected by the Most High because we rejected His word, right? Right? Get Joshua, drop that. Get Joshua chapter uh, twenty-three and verse thirteen. Right? What the difference? Now we not no priest to the Most High, right? We just we just see ourselves as niggas, bro. Right? Bring that up. This is Joshua chapter twenty-four and verse thirteen. Know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you. And see that? If we not be the, the Lord, we don't got that hedge of protection no more. Right? The Lord that kind of turned his face away from us a little bit, huh? Because we done rejected his knowledge. He said he was gonna reject us. Keep reading. But they shall be snares and traps unto you. They shall be what? But they shall, shall be, be snares, snares and traps, traps unto you. you. And now we all mixed and mingled. Right, together, and now it's a trap. Now you think you him, him, and him when none of these people are our people, man. Right? You think that you, you think that you, you, you a Kushite, man. Right? You think you a Egyptian, right? You think that you a Canaanite, man. Right? But none of those are our, are our people, man. Like, we want to say it don't matter. Yeah, they really say it don't matter, man. But we the only people who say that it don't matter who we are, man. That's how destroyed we are. It's scourges in your side. See, and they're going to be scourges in our sides. Them same people who we thought we were, right? They have rounded our asses up, right? They kind of packed us up and shipped us overseas, man. Right? We was watching, uh, what was that movie? Uh, the Woman King, man. Right? I watched that. I watched that, that movie, movie going to hell off so damn bad, man. Hell man. Off, man. Hey, y'all didn't even, I don't think y'all even peep, man. Worse. That all was kind of fun. See, see that, man? Right. See that? Hey. But I think, what? Well, I don't really think Wakanda Forever, right? I watched that, right? Wakanda Forever, the the little sister, right? Of uh, her name was what? Zuri. Yeah. Sure. Her name was Zuri, sure, right? Sure. Yeah, Shuri, right? Now she she uh created she recreated the the heart shaped herb, right? And they ritual is usually to drink the heart shaped herb, right? And then they bury themselves up in the sand. Right, and they see they answer. She didn't do that. She said that I don't. Hey, and even the uh, the, the little bald head chicks, man. Right, the the ones that be the the warriors, the bald head warriors. She was like, she said, hey, like that would mean since vibranium is everywhere, man. Right, we thought it was only in Wakanda. She said these stories have been implanted in my mind. She said I would have to erase these things from my mind. Oh. So that's representation of our people, right? Because them people were what? Everywhere. Those people were snares and traps unto us. And we heard about that. By Brandon Eight, it wasn't everywhere. Yeah, see it that? It was only co coincidence right. with the Northern Kingdom. Exactly. It was only with the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Kingdom. Exactly. And that's the thing. When that when that, <laughs> when that Hispanic brother rose up out of that water, man. He's the only one had the right mindset. Exactly. Like, 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 I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing the trend with Marvel. Yeah. They're making the bad guys be the mindset of what we should have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because, because, hey, so like, hey, if you saw the end of the movie, brother just said a mouthful. Hey, that's real. Because because the truth is, if you really dig into the story, you realize that they they did a reverse. Yeah, exactly. Everything that is righteous, they got it coming from who they portraying to be the wicked guy. Yeah, exactly. Because in the eyes of the wicked, the righteous is wicked. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We wicked as hell to a wicked nigga for being yeah. right. 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 Yeah. Uh, uh, you can, what, what you have? But this is what gets me about it. Now, both of those movies come out right at a time to cast a dark shadow over Hebrews to Negroes. You see, you see how they eclipse that? That movie, it didn't even go mainstream, and it took over. And then they come using all their money and all their media mogul, and they cast a dark cloud over that movie, and they push this fake-ass homeland of Wakanda, and this, uh, um, what's the other damn movie? Uh, what, the, uh, the Woman King. King. Yeah. And now they're coming out with the with the Avatar 2. All these movies deal with our people when right. you really dig into it. Right. But the one movie that really give it up the truth, right. that's the one they done kicked in the back of the closet. Right. Right. Now, I mean, that's the damn, uh, that too. Black Adam. 
Black Adam. Yeah. Uh, Black Black Adam. Now, I actually I dealt with, with 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 coming Messiah. Right. To free his people from the oppressor. Exactly. Uh. That movie got trash. Now, now I recommend everybody watch Black Panther because at the end of that movie, that was the lit part, right? Northern and Southern Kingdom was beefing against each other, right? The 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 surface world, I mean, uh, Wakanda was beefing against. I forgot what his land is called underneath the ground, man. I mean, like Kukul Khan, yeah, Kukul Khan, yeah, something like that. Kukul Khan. That's what well, well, Kukul Khan. What's crazy is Kukul Khan is actually like the feather serpent. Yeah. You know what I mean? You read about the, the fiery serpent in, in Isaiah six. You know, and Ooh, also God. also when when I saw his uh, feet. Right, yeah. like uh, Twain, uh, they, Twain, Kuku Khan means uh, it's like a serpent god, basically. Yeah. Right now, because it's colder than you know. Now, what it say about the there. tribe of Dan, man? Tribe of Dan up in uh, grab that up in uh, Genesis chapter forty nine. God say he was gonna judge his people as one of the uh, as one of the tribes of Israel. Right, I recommend everybody watch Black Panther because at the end, hey, they said screw the beef, man. We gonna come together. Wow. The, the two sticks, man. That's why I said approval girl was asking the uh, uh, Northern Kingdom dude that was running it, you gonna trust them? Right. And he was like, man, they already, we, he's like, we got them right where we want them at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they think it's all cool. He reeled the bed. He reeled the bed. Yeah. Right. You see that? Bring yeah. this up. This is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 27. You know, an unjust man is an abomination to the just. Right. And oh. he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. See mm. that? That's what they putting up in these movies, man. The upright, man, the people that fight for his people, man, is an abomination unto the wicked, man. Unto the man. oppressor. Yeah. Unto the oppressor, man. Now read this. This is Genesis chapter 49, verse 16. You know, then shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Hold that joint up hey, in the, uh, Yeah, in the hold that up in the camera. That's going to image. Now, that's what they was, they said, uh, they said, uh. Namor, no, yeah, no love. Yeah. Namor, yeah, Namor. Yeah, Namor. That's wild. Really? Yeah. Now, what I was thinking, because that's a, that's a Northern Kingdom brother that played that part, man. Uh, right? And all of his people was, it was Northern Kingdom brothers, man. Right? It literally represented all of Northern Kingdom from Gad, man. Mm -hmm. All the way to Issachar. Bring, bring that up. This is Genesis chapter 49 and verse 16. Bring it up. Then shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. See that? Read. There shall be a serpent. A what? A serpent. A what? A serpent. Man, the cuckoo Khan, man. That's a that's a serpent, man. <laughs> that is a serpent. That's the look, that's the serpent god. That's what they base him off of. That's what they call him. That's what Kuku Khan means. What is he? There shall be a serpent. Right. By the way, an adder in the path. A what? An adder in the path. An adder is a serpent, man. You see that, man? Look at that, man. These are brothers, man. They was going the hell off, man. <laughs> With these guys that they had, though. It says he was an adder in the path. Read. That bite the horse heels. Right. So that his rider shall fall back. See that? And hey, and he, he you you put it into the perspective of the Northern and Southern Kingdom, man. He was he was putting uh Southern Kingdom ass to death, man. Hey, he was killing everybody in Wakanda, man. He was really on that. These are some of the things that they portray up in the movies, right? So what, like, he was moving like Saul? Yeah, I mean no, he wasn't moving like Saul. He was uh who was that that was killing, uh, who was that that was, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. Saul was whacking the hell out of Israel, yeah, he, man. Yeah, he was whacking Judah, right? Look, man, that's how he was moving, right? Hey, but it said that he would judge as one of the tribes of Israel, right? So when you go to the end of the movie, they was holding hands at the end, northern and southern kingdom, man. And I think in the next movie, they're going to wage war against the United States, man. Huh? Two sticks. two sticks. Hey, two sticks, man. Yeah, get that up in uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. You got a reason? Hey, shalom, brother. Uh, get out of here. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, gay man. Angels with you. Hey, hey, uh, one second. Get that brother a flyer, man. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Whoever got it, man. 
Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37. Come on. Hey, brothers, y'all know your nationality? You don't know your nationality? Come look at this chart real quick. Man, where that bus at? That bus down there? Yeah, you usually know his nationality. Hey, man, you will be an Israelite according to the Bible, man. Right? You, all right, which is us, the southern kingdom, the so-called black people, and the Hispanics, which is the northern kingdom, need to come back to being a people. Right? So that we can get up out of this place, man. Right? Because basically what they portrayed up in Black Panther, in Black Panther 2, what kind of forever, right? I'm going to call that thing Yashala forever, man. All right? What they were literally portraying, literally is that our people got to come together that's what they're portraying right you see yourself on the side king yeah. on the other side is what they would call us in the world so what would be your nationality what would be your father's nationality well indy uh i don't know you can tell me because yeah. i what would your father be? Uh, it would be considered like uh, his race. Nick, uh, African, African American. Yeah. So, what what do they call uh, you know uh, Negroes in the Bible? This is what the Lord calls you, and this would be what the what the so called white man they call you Judah, right? Now, do you know what Judah looks like according to the Bible? Uh, yeah. Hey, get Jeremiah chapter fourteen and verse two, right? Because this is a whole history book. The same Bible that's been sitting on top of Granny's uh, desk, all uh, dusty. That's our history book. Yeah. And it prophesied about what our people would be doing today, right? Bring that up. But you know what, too? What? I don't. I, I want to know this, and this is something that's always been. Just like, say, for instance, two thousand years ago, right? Right. I, so I'm just using an example. Yeah. Go ahead. So say that I predicted that. You was gonna be president. How did I know? How did they know what Nixon was gonna be doing two thousand years? And you can't. You don't even know what's gonna happen in the next two hours. You see that? Now I don't know about. Uh, oh, that's just an example, basically, right? No, but somebody. Uh, on, I was reading where they predicted that Nixon was gonna be the president. Uh, the president. Yeah, the so-called white man plays his own game, right? So there's they got like a Illuminati card game that talks about pandemics and vaccinations. You know, how did they know that that was going to happen? They didn't. They just planned. They, they planned uh, real well. Now, this Bible is a Bible of, this is a book of history. It's a, it's a book of uh, prophecy, right? That you can find out who you are, for real. Because aren't you sitting and calling yourself a, a color of the crayon box? Right? Right. We, uh, black people don't got no land, right? Right. But Israelites do, right? Bring this up. This, this is Jeremiah. Chapter 14 and verse 2, right? Judah mourning. It said what? Judah, Judah mourning. Hey, it said Judah is in mourning. We out here crying because we getting a foot on our neck, man. We yeah. getting killed out here. And we got to worry about our own people, man. That's why we out here to wake up our right. people to who they are. Read. Are y'all going to be out here tomorrow? Uh, We're going to be at uh, 79th and Cottage tomorrow. I'll be up there. Good. Okay, Wait, let's finish this precept. Okay, right? Read. In the case there were plenty, right? They are black. The Jews are what? They, they are, are black. black. They are what? They are black. black. Read unto the ground. Unto the ground. We all beautiful shades of brown. So the deeper that you dig up in the soil, the darker it gets. Right. So it says that they are black unto the ground. Now who are those other people over there that's calling themselves Jews? That got everybody tied up. Right. right. In right. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I'm going to show you that and now I'm going to let you go because I know it's cold out there. Yeah. Right? So you say your nationality is what, King? Judah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. See? Yeah. We got to forever call ourselves that, man. Right? Because yeah. the time is coming where we're going to have to be with our own people, man. Right? Yeah. Bring that up. This is Revelations chapter 2 and verse 9. Right? I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So the Lord is speaking to the Jews. He said, I know your work, how much work you put in to build this wicked ass city, this wicked country. Read that he said his tribulations, right? All the troubles that we go through. And he said your poverty. And the true Jews are in poverty. The true hey, the Jews over there, the poor the true Ishmael, he's not in poverty, right? right. He owned Disney. He owned CNN. He owned everything, right? Right. Yeah, he owned all the banks. 
taste? You said what? It's a locket. And even when you go into Esau's dictionary and you look up ghetto, it literally says the place where the Jews dwell or reside. I don't see no damn white Amalekite men, Jewish people, living in the projects. Yeah, they don't. Living on 79th. Living on 63rd. Living in the wild, wild hunters. Hey, for real. <laughs> Now read this, finish that. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right. But thou art rich. We're rich because the whole kingdom of heaven is only for us, according to Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Right. Read. And I know the blasphemy. The what? The blasphemy. That means the lies, the filthy lies. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that what? Which, which say, say they, they are, are Jews. Jews. Hey, those people that call themselves Jewish. Read. And are not. They're not even Jews. Read. For are the synagogue of Satan. Are they what? The synagogue of Satan. That's what the Lord called. Do you like when they had the Daniel fast? Is that really a biblical? What fast? Yeah. No, I'm talking about does they really consider? Is it really mandatory that we go on a Daniel fast? On a Daniel fast? No, not a Daniel fast. A Daniel fasted for 21 days. That's much done. But now that's 21 days. But fasting, you you do have to fast, man. Right. At least one day, yeah. from from sunset to sunset. Right. Right. So when you can, man. Right. Check that flyer. Okay, you got one. Okay, So check that flyer, out, man. There's a number on the back. King, you got YouTube, King? You be going on YouTube? Sometimes I do. Log on real quick and uh, subscribe to the channel. It's called Brothers in Blood. H O I. I'm gonna do it when I get home because it's cold. All right, King. Brothers in Blood. Brothers right, in Blood. Okay. And you got the other channel, the Facebook channel, is on there on the fly. H O I North. Okay. God, man. Thank God, you. God, Shalom, man. King. Okay. Shalom. Now, hey, see, and that's what it's about. Alright? We gotta wake up my people. Hey sis, hey little sister. See? We power walking out here, man. Cold. I know it's cold, man. That <laughs> wind kinda of pushing up the blunt, you know what I'm saying? Right? Hey, that time gonna come now. Well, hey, people gonna be hey, people gonna be uh stopping in blizzards, man, to hear this word, man. They gonna be searching in blizzards, man. <laughs> uh -huh. They gonna be digging through ice tunnels. Uh, Saying where are these brothers that, that was out here all this time, right. man? You got that? <laughs> they got, who got who got that fire? Hey, man, they <laughs> got fire got great, man. They they kind of gonna be waiting on us, man. Back Good. here, I thought it was the plugs. It could. Okay. Hey, it's still more on that. What type of hat you got on your head, King? It's like a little Christmas hat. Bears. 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 You see that? Get Jeremiah chapter ten. And verse one. We're gonna show you something about the Bible, right? Do you think Christmas is in the Bible? Hey, I, I'll go. You say no. I'll go as far as to say it is in the Bible, it but it but it tells you not to celebrate, it. right? Oh. See, because our people, they don't know that we got our own holidays, right? Hey, right. we finna go into uh, we finna go into feast of dedication, man. What the world calls Hanukkah, man. Yeah, right? Hey, that's seven days of teeing up with your brothers, bro. Hey, it's way better than just one day with a dusty-ass Christmas tree up in the living room, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But well, when is Hanukkah? Hanukkah is on the 17th, man. The oh. 17th, uh, the night of the 17th. Uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. That's Sunday. And it goes until day, uh, do, December, uh, December 24th. 24th. Right. Sundown. So we're going to be teeing up together for a minute, bro. Okay. That is really, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen to this, man. You don't even got no bus coming, King. You might as well wait. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just listen to this. They're going to stop for you right here. All right? Bring that up. Jeremiah 1. Uh, 1. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Bro. Right? Hear ye the word which the Lord speaking about to you, O house of Israel. O house of who? O, o house, house of, of Israel. Israel. Okay, so the Lord said he's speaking to you right here, bro. All the people on this chart. Read. Thus saith the Lord. What'd you say? I never could get Zebulun. Yeah, Zebulon. Yeah, I never could understand that one. And this, I know about Asher. Good. I heard of Ishkar. Ishkar. Uh, Issachar. Issachar. Yeah, those are the so-called Mexicans. And, the, and Gad. Gad is a Native American. You know what I'm saying? Those are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, from which the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans come. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. up. Levi is Haitian. They are. South. Simon is the Simeon. They are. Dominican. Right. Is 
Guatemalans. Right. These are, hey, look at how many people is on this turf. That's one nation of people. But what they did was kind of divide and conquer. And how did they divide and conquer? They made you forget who you were, and they pushed their uh, their holidays and feast days all on you. Read them. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2. No. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. He said what? Learn, learn not, not the, the way, way of the heathen. Hey, the Lord said, don't learn the ways of all these nations and all these countries and all these different type of people. Stick to your heritage, which is in the Bible. Read. Right. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Keep reading. For the customs of the people are vain. Hey, this is what it's going into, man. Right? right. It says the customs are the people in vain. Let's right. see what this is talking about. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Hey. Hey, look at that. One cutteth a tree out in the forest. Keep reading. The work of the hands of the workmen. Right. With the axe. Keep reading. They deck it with silver and with gold. They what? They deck it with silver and with gold. gold. What tree do you deck with silver and gold? Right. That's that Christmas tree, right? Right. So the Lord is telling you not to celebrate that, right? Yes, hey, so hey, you're going to have to convert to celebrate Hanukkah with your brothers, man. Because right. the I thing think. is, is that Nimrod, when he died, his mother told the people that his spirit re reincarnated into the tree. So to continue worshiping him as a deity now, the people brought gold and silver and laid it on him and bowed down to the tree and prayed, thinking that they were praying and worshiping Nimrod. That's awesome. Thus brought forth the Christmas tree, decking it and praising it. That's why we ain't supposed to do it. That tree is symbology of worshiping a God. And what do they do? They put the presents under the bottom. In order for you to get the presents, what did you have to do as a kid? You got down on your knees and bowed down under that tree to receive the gifts. See that? Get, get Ecclesiastes chapter 6. Hold on. Whole damn ritual. Come on, man. Hey, man. If you think that you you going to die and come back, as a, that's miserable, man. It's a lie. And what they put at the top of it? And they put a star, man. A, star. a damn star, man. Hey, do you not know how miserable that is? To die and come back as a damn cockroach or a tree? <laughs> a tree is an all better. I'm shivering out, man. Hey, that's why the damn spirit be on them cats, man. The cats crawl up in the tree and knock oh. it over. <laughs> God, man. Yeah, no. The Lord be putting the spirit on them, man. Yeah. That's, a, that's a little lion. Destroy man. the damn tree, man. Oh. The one that talks about uh, He's a uh, yeah. You're not uh, supposed to be celebrating uh, Christmas. Be, no, it might be. And then claim that you worship the most high, man. Are you lying and going the hell off, man? The Lord ain't, hey, as, hey, as the brother would say, man, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord not dealing with that, man. I'm not, not, man. The Lord is not going to make us die and come back right as a damn caterpillar, man. Right? The Lord not going to come back and make us die. Uh, they not going to die and make us come back as a goddamn uh, a beetle, bro. Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> so Nimrod for them so he died and come back as a tree, man. Yeah, exactly. Right? The Lord called us a worm, and he don't mean literally. Come. You know? The Lord said in Isaiah 40, he said, fear not or worm Jacob. Come. That was symbology. Because yeah. the worm symbolized like being weak, you know, it has no one to protect it. Come. And it moves slow and everything, and they try to hide in the dirt, try to cover itself. See that, man? That's what happened with us. So you going to tie with us being in the ghettos and the hoods. We're in the dirt. We're in the bottom of the bottom. We have the power in that. Right. That lower state. That literal word. word. Come. Come. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said. Bring us up. The Psalm chapter 104 verse 29. No. Thou hidest thy face. They are troubled. Thou takest away their breath. We die. Read. They die and return to their dust. Right. So our body goes into hey, it ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Read. Thou sendest forth thy spirit. They are created. Hey, so hey, it's recycle, reuse, and reduce, man. The Lord sends back our spirit, and we're recreated, man. Read it. And thou renewest the face of the earth. Hey, we renewed the face of the earth, man. Right? Right back into our stock. Now read that. It's Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 21. Who knows the spirit of man? 
that goes upward. That go where? That goes up, upward. Go upward, man. Free. And the spirit of the beast that goes downward yes. to the earth. See that, man? Goes downward into the earth, man. And that beast is a representation of flesh, also, man. Uh, that's a lot, yeah. When they and this is when the damn Christians and heathens read that. See, it's a it's hell below. Did the bees go down to hell? No. That's talking decomposition. Right. All right. When the when when the when the gases and all of that form and the body start to decompose and break down. Right. Just like roadkill on the side of the road, it goes yeah. back down to the earth. Exactly. That's not talking about a damn hell below with some little red man poking you in the ass with a pitchfork. Right. See that man. See, and this is why people is kind of destroyed for for like an hour. They destroy it because they don't really know anything and they don't really want to seek to understand. Now you can get that Peter's, man. That I believe is first Peter's three and uh sixteen. Look, I just gotta say it, man. Like the other one uh, uh y'all will all always say, man. Huh. Jake just gotta man, he gotta show him something. Cause Jake yeah. think he know every damn thing. Right. And that's the problem when they when, when come a lot of people don't want to come into the truth. When the Lord call them, they pull a damn Jonah and try to run because a lot of them they think they up here. And when you come into the truth, hey man, everything, man, he who think he is something is nothing, man. You gotta come down to be that little baby or nobody. See that? And Jake don't wanna be nobody. Yeah, that's probably and that's a pride issue, man. Some uh -huh. people got a lot of pride issues, though. How can you be pride and you at the bottom of the whole nation, man? You at the bottom of society. You like, come on, bro. You 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 a proud, you a proud skin worker. Like Whoa. Hey man, I'm that one. I'm that one turd that won't go down, man. You got to pour a bucket of water up in this thing. Right, man. <laughs> Get me down. Who right. keep popping up? No. <laughs> what regular you flush ain't gonna put him down. Right, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, and it's crazy because Jake fighting to see who can be the lowest. That, man. They not fighting to get up, man. Just <laughs> fighting to be the lowest. Right, see that? That's crazy. If gravity was on, it's like gravity being on and it's crabs in a bucket, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and the bucket upside down. Like, yeah, yeah. Which way is up, man? All right, man. Bring that up. This is First Peter chapter three, verse fifteen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. And be ready always to give an answer to every man. See, and that's what we try to do, man. We try our best, man. We're ready to give an answer to every man, right? That comes with much studying, right? That comes with much reading. It comes with much fasting, man. Right? You got to pray for that knowledge, man. Just like Solomon did, man. Right? But our people, hey, who made it uncool, right, to be intelligent, man? Because our people down, so they they make stupid a sport, man. Oh. Right? Who made it uncool to who who made it lame to be to be a pillar in your community, man? Because our people made being a nigga a sport, man. Right. That, they they get a car like that, man, and he think that he on, man. He think he up, man. That's what that's what it is. Jake think he up in a worse predicament, man. That's a bad no, mentality no. to have. Read the chapter twenty four, verse forty six. You know, it said unto them, thus it is written, and thus it behold Christ to suffer and to rise, so like it, and to rise from the dead the third day. That's how we do. Verse Verse 44, and he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled. Hey, all things got to be fulfilled, man. Right? But how do you know what has to be fulfilled, man, if you don't do no deep research, man? If you don't do no matter of studying, right? If you just, if hey, if you just want to be down bad, man, if you... The problem with our people, right, and I, and I see that as a trend, man. They doing what they thought was cool in high school in their old age, man, and that's why our people is destroyed, man. God. Right? Meanwhile, you're supposed to be a holy nation. Hey, but Jake makes it popular, right? Ooh, what is, what's that precept that says? There's a precept that says that uh, folly is put in great dignity, man. Foolishness is put in great yeah, dignity. 
Now you can pull that. It was one of them. These are the words which I spake unto you while I was while I was yet with you, right? that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Hey, concerning Christ, man. So there are still things that we have. Hey, as long as there are things to fulfill, man, we still have things to work on. Uh, right? We can't be out here in all matters of folly, man. Right? In all matter of folly and wickedness, man, our people is kind of addicted to that. Why are people, why are our people addicted to, to profane man? Bring that up, man. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity. It said what? Folly is set in great dignity. See that? Folly is set in great dignity, man. All men is a folly. Man, Esau and Amalek and them, man, they're going to kind of take that thing and turn up the volume on it. Now you got it all over your Instagram, all of your uh, Facebook, and all of your Twitter, man. Hey, Kanye said it not too long ago, man. Huh. Uh, Instagram is, is promoting prostitution, man. Twitter especially. Twitter is wicked, man. All right? They've been doing that. Yeah, they've been you doing that. You go on down Instagram, every, every thing you see on there, you hit the little magnifying search button, that's all pop up is half ass naked ease. That's right, man. And, and you and you see that? Like uh Satan he he looks to change times, dates, and laws. Right? He wants to change laws. That don't mean our laws, but it means his laws to fit his wants and his needs, man. Right? You see he steady pushing the age for ped pedophilia, man. He changing laws. Right? You see, oh, prostitution is supposed to be illegal. That's supposed to be an arrestable offense, man. A jailable offense, man. But look, they done made it so that Eve could be comfortable, right? At a point in time, you was able to put your OnlyFans on your taxes, man. That was during the pandemic. I was just going to say, that's why he's doing it. Because he done found a way to tax it so he can get his cut off of it. Exactly. Same thing he did with the damn weed. Right. Exactly, man. And now you look at, man, you'll see church, uh, you'll see Eve up in the trenches, man, with a damn, with a bogus ass BBL, man. And you know what? Because they was able to get a PPP loan. What the hell is a BBL? A, a Brazilian ass lift, man. Oh, lift, the man. Brazilian booty lift, huh? Yeah. I was wondering, I heard some chick on the damn thing say that, and I'm like, what the hell is a BBL? I'm yeah, like, man. big black lady, big. I'm not getting the ass shots, man. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking BBW. You don't got no money for no, for no $10,000 procedure, man. You, but you know why? Because during that PPP loan thing, man, right, they was able to kind of profit off of that. They was, they literally gave you $20,000 to do your business on. And during the pandemic, during the lockdown, OnlyFans was considered a business, man. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Esau knew every person that he gave that loan to because you had to give your name and social security number that's a federal loan which means they ran your name through the database they knew you didn't have a goddamn business when they gave it to you because they knew you ain't been filing no taxes prior to this loan exactly so that was another way of setting everybody up because the main people that went out like a dumbass was our people you know how many sisters lost their damn section eight for real because they took that loan trying to be greedy God. Shit. I say good, man. Take that shit away, man. All right? Take all the sex and eight, all that away, man. At least give brothers, like, a fair chance, man. Huh? You take that away, man. Jake really gonna have bad times on his hand. You think he exactly. sending Jake through the damn ringer now? Yeah. Hey, man, she, she, she telling Jake get the hell out now. If she ain't got nowhere to put him out of... Man, I, I don't not, know how that's gonna work. We're not gonna be, but look, we're not <laughs> gonna be. Look, through much tribulation, right? We enter into the kingdom, right? Through much tribulation, we enter into the kingdom. We're not gonna get no comfort until there's a little hurt, right? It's gonna be hurt before. Hey, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, man. Right before your house shot comes back, she's supposed to go up the smoke. Yeah. And so I mean, I say yeah, take that thing away. That's the that's and we would be. If they if they take that thing away now, right? If they take that thing away right now, we will have to be that prototype for that hurt, right? But then 
our nation would be set back in their order, man. Eve would have to be dependent That's on the man That's the good thing. Yeah. Car. I, I'm willing to take that hurt, man. Yeah. All right? Now, hey, you see, look, man. Jake out here down bad, man. All right? Cussing each other out across the street, man. Right? These are the tribulations that we got to endure. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they take that Section 8, that low income, oh. and subsidized living away from Eve. Hey man, she and Jake, she ain't eat no more. That's everything that got her riding high on a horse right now. Yeah. I literally going through it, trying to get a crib on disability. Yeah. Should be able to get a low income crib, but because of my criminal background, I'll be refused. Right. And you deal with a woman who got low income, section eight or anything like that. If she was to not have a job, or if, if she lose her job, They'll revert her rent to where she has to pay no rent and then send her a check every damn month to pay her utility bills. Whereas on the other end, you can't even get a damn crib. See that? This, this economy is built for her, man. For her and, and, and her, her damn uh, her betroth, man. <laughs> her damn Esau, man. That's who she in love. She in love with anybody that got a little bread, man. Got a little cheese. And that's the... Hey, man. And that's crazy, right? Because after Esau falls, guess who she's going to come running back to? Man? Right? She's not going to run to no damn... She might run to Moab, too. But she's not going to be running to no Moab. That's right. In New York, man, I see a whole bunch of E's for Moab, so. That's because they get that's because they getting that Chinese cat food money in on the back end, man. And eat, no, man, and rice every eat, night. If you with Moab, man, you just grimy. You are just grimy, bro. What you want? He what? What you want with him, man? He can't even see you, man. He can't even see you. What you want with him, man? You taller than him. And this is the thing too. They want to run the Moab. I'm going to just say it. Moab beat a bitch, too. Oh, yeah. Faster well, than Jake will. Oh, yeah. Moab, where they at, they women in order. Not because they want to be. Because <laughs> Moab will beat her ass half to death with a bamboo stick. Right, right, yeah. We see that on Twitter and Instagram. And Moab will kick a time. woman in her ass, man. For real, man. While y'all want to down bad, talk bad about your own so-called black brother and go run to these heathen nations that'll, that'll kill your ass. Right. Look at look at uh, Is uh, uh, Ishmael. Ishmael. Yep. Goddamn Arabics. They want to go deal with him at the damn corner store. Hey, man, Ishmael will dig a hole, stick you in it, and throw bricks at your ass. Yeah, for real. Chop your damn head off. Exactly. See? But you talk about us. Right. All Jake going to do is woof at you. Right. Get loud. Might grab you. you Shake you a little bit. These niggas going to kill your ass. Right. Esau. They're going to find you floating in a river somewhere right. or in a damn deep freezer. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, and, don't, and don't think that you're getting away because you got a little hand mic, man. Hand mic, hey, the whole village will beat your ass. Man, yeah, hand mic them going to drink your blood, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. man. They're going to drain the blood out your ass and do a ritual out of you. Right. They're going to chop you up into little itty bitty pieces. And, and wear your ass in earrings. They're going to be wearing your ass, man. Literally. Yeah. Hey, like y'all, y'all, y'all hate us so much, but y'all run to these other nations' men that'll do you way worse than us. Go, go, go right? I just bought this precept down earlier, man. But check this out, man. I want to read that. Joshua chapter twenty-three and verse twelve. Right? Yeah. Else, if ye do in any wise, go back. And cleave unto the remnant of these nations. Is that what? And cleave unto the remnant of these nations. Look, Eve with Moab is ridiculous, man. If you go back and cleave to the remnant of these nations, read, even these that remain among you, right? And shall make marriages with them. And what? And shall make marriages with them. Keep reading. And go in unto them, right. and they to you. <laughs> Get Ezra chapter 9 verse 12. No for a certain thing. Like no for certainty that the Lord your God would no more drive out any of these nations that the poll would look. He will not he will what? Drive out any of these nations before you. Hey, the Lord said if you go back and make marriages with them, yeah, you you the lost me. Alright? You the lost me. Alright? He said you make marriages with them and you 
don't got my protection no more. So because our brothers, and especially our sisters, man, they, they want a little white girl and a white boy, man, or any other nation, man, the Lord said, hey, these, these people are going to put a foot on your neck, and you're going to call me, and I'm going to laugh at your calamity, man. Lucky. Like Huh? Second Edge was 6 and 56, I think it is. God, they always had life. a reputation of being nothing to the Lord. God, man. They, they, like, you defiled. We'll you're that. no longer sanctified. You're no longer holy. You're no longer pure. Like, you're the worst of the worst of contaminated when you go deal with them. Great. See that? Read that up. This is Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 12. Huh? Now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons. Need to take their daughters unto your sons. Hey, so we're not supposed to be extended. Ain't no, ain't no dad. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing home, uh, I'm bringing home wing gang to, 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 to the damn cookout. Ain't none of that, man. Ain't no, ain't no dad. You know, I got a little Sally Mae. Come bring her to the cookout, man. He got a dish, huh? He got a he got a pan of Kung Pao cat. <laughs> yo, like I just see I just see about everything, bro. Like I just see General Meow. Yo, you see that? And I'm and y'all see my post on Facebook, man. I share the post, man. Dude has squirrels late squirrels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know for a fact that was Moab, yeah. man. Moab would eat any damn thing. He'll eat you. Right? Hey, and the damn Moabite eats, man. They yeah. they caught all them damn rats. And boil them in the water first, and then pull the fur off of them. Yeah, and then the start chopping them up, cooking them in. Soy sauce, man. Man, you crazy as hell. Yeah, man. I've been saying a whole lot of profane hog balls, man. Yo, wicked, man. And it was deep. It was cooking it up. Bro. You oh, eating nuts talking now, huh? Man. You talking that, man. Jake eating nuts now, huh? Yeah, son. You see that, man? It's more that. Now, therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons. Right. Neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace. It said, nor what? Nor seek their peace. Man, I got a, I got a, I got a Japanese friend. It said, what? Nor don't seek their, their peace. Don't seek their peace, man. That's what y'all really doing. Y'all want validation from all these other damn nations, man. And they don't got nothing but damn nation, man. No. <laughs> like, for real. The bus just said voodoo. It said what? Voodoo or voodoo. It was V O O D O O C H, I think. See that? See, and and that's that's probably one of them headmites diving that much yeah. from the curse you, man. Alright? Ain't nobody finna be putting up with y'all. Right? Y'all y'all realize that we in this predicament for so long because y'all just won't separate, man? Ooh, get first get it, get first Ezra chapter eight. First Ezra chapter eight and verse seven. It's like, are you see how the Most High using Ham to bring forth the prophecy I told Eve? She'll be in order how he's gonna knock her damn edges out. See that? Hey man, he got Ham twisting like her edges right off of her, off her head with them damn tight ass braids, man. Yeah, for real. Man. Damn near every Eve hairline and start behind her ears. Cause Ham done, done knocked all her damn fronts off and sides off with them tight ass braids. You would have listened to the most high man and not didn't have all that broiled hair anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? You might have a little bit of edges left. Hey, they showed you, man. Elam, them women, man, they over there praying over that hair and yeah. cursing yeah, the hair. The one chick, leaves. one chick put some of that Eve, put some of that hair in her hair, and the shit was infested with lice. Had them damn things burrowed down into her uh, scalp's pores. And start laying larva eggs and stuff, bro. I don't know how you. Uh, I don't she know how doing tomorrow? It was itching. And she thought it was just dry and itching the whole time. Them damn things is bro. taking <laughs> setting up shop in your eye. Man, that's what you get for wearing fake hair, man. Second, I mean, first Ezra chapter eight and verse uh, eighty-three. Read that. This first Ezra. Chapter 8 and verse 7. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Keep reading. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. Right, so right when they got up in the kingdom, man, they started going right off right then, man. Didn't put away none of the strange women, none of the strange people. That they done been around, man. Keep uh -huh. reading. 
And as soon as I had heard these things, I rent my clothes. He what? I rent my, my clothes. Now, why did he rent his clothes, man? I got to think that Ezra was reading the book of Joshua, man. He did a whole He holy. said, I will not. Hey, right, man. Look, read that. what else he do? In the holy garden and pulled off the hair. Yo, he pulled his hair out of his head, man. He was so damn mad. Now, why was that? Because we just read up in Joshua chapter 23, right? And verse 12 and 13, that if you marry with these people, you ain't got no protection. Hey, they had just got there, man. And Israel, just, they, they went off as soon as they stepped up in that thing, man. Uh. Like, damn. Right? Is a little more on that? And pulled off the hair from off my head and beard. Yo, he pulled, yo, he didn't just stop at the head. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was mad. And I understand that, man. To be right here. And it's like, damn, we just got out of the hand of the oppressor, and now we finna go back in? Oh, man. You Come know on. how bad it hurt when I just nick my beard nap with yo. a damn pick? Yo, for real, This man, man you know what they had to feel? He ripped his joint out of his face with his hands? Yo. Y'all damn near punch a wall when I'm picking my joint and catching one of them little naps. <laughs> for real, man. Yeah. For real, man. What's on that? Man. And the great man. And set me down sad and very heavy. Hey, he was sad and very heavy, man. So he went into a fast, man, for Israel. Right, read that. Uh, verse 83. Come on. First Exodus chapter 8, verse 83. No. That the land which he enter into so like to possess. Start, start at 82. First Exodus chapter 8, verse 82. And now, O Lord, what shall we say having these things? Right. For we have transgressed thy commandments. Hey, man, Ezra knew that they effed up, man. Right? That's why he pulled out his beard, pulled out the hairs on his head, man. Right? Because he knew that his Hey, as soon as we got up in here, man, Lord, we effed up, man. Keep reading. They have transgressed thy commandments. Right. Which thou gavest by the hand of thy servants, the prophets, saying that the land which he entered into to possess as inheritance... It's a land polluted with the pollutions of the strangers of the land. You see that? So the Lord said that these people are filthy and nasty, man, and you shouldn't even have them in your land. Right, keep reading. And they have filled it with their uncleanness. Right, keep reading. Therefore, now shall ye not join your daughters unto their sons. We were just reading that up in Ezra chapter 9 and verse 12. Keep reading. Neither. Shall ye take their daughters unto your sons? Yo, wait, this is this is Ezra, man. Uh, Ezra, like I just told them, man. In Ezra, and Ezra was right here, man. Right, and he had his remembrance on man, him. That his, he'd be like, yo, I had just told them up in Ezra nine and twelve, man. They but they broke it anyway, man. Hard-headed, stiff-necked people, man. He read that's the life boy said. Cause see, they understood back then how one one person's action was gonna affect all of us. That's why our people don't realize, like brothers all over the damn world coming out here, they don't understand that y'all actions, like you always say, you niggas is keeping us from the kingdom. Y'all don't realize that y'all study going off breaking the most high law, y'all y'all got us stuck here as hostages. Not only that, all of them, the, the angels in the heaven is getting impatient, like right. damn. Man, y'all ever seen them YouTube videos, man? They'll, they'll post a YouTube video and they'll wait until they reach a, a, a million subscribers, man. Right? And they'll literally, they're able to see the numbers literally go up. they like, yeah, it's going up. And then the numbers go down because niggas want to unfollow at the last right. moment, man. And then they go up. It's like, yeah, we there, we there. And then they go back. That's how it is, man. We That's probably how they going up in the heavens, man. Yo, it's uh, almost time, man. That brother, he 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 did late, man. He finna get woken up. Oh damn, that brother, the fella about they, the truth. They man. getting ready, like all we need is just that one dude. Once right, he, we right. out there. It's like we, oh, got, man. we got we got five more people, man. Right. Damn right. Moroccan, man. man. Just woke up, man. Damn, nigga, <laughs> damn Muslim, <laughs> man. Wake that brother up. He the one, man. Then they like, oh, them niggas, the fella about the truth, woken up, man. Like damn, now you gotta get your seat for place. Oh. That's how the angels is probably filling up in the heavens, man. Cause uh -huh. man, I'm, I'm positive they want to get this thing. Hey, how wish I want to get this thing cracking? Uh -huh. He want to get this thing rolling. That's hey. why he mad, man. Uh, <laughs> unjust balance, man. The scales is like this right now. Hey, man, the Most High need the scale to drop. 
That two thirds scale need to hit the table uh, so the one third scale can go up, man. Straight up. <laughs> straight up. This yeah. one time you want the scales to tilt in the opposite favor. Really? So we can go up, man. Damn. Yeah. Moreover, you shall never seek to have peace with them. Right. That ye may be strong and eat the good things of the land. And that you may leave the inheritance of the land unto your children forever. Oh, yo, when I read this, I was mad, bro. I was real life mad. We could be eating the good things of the land, right? I just got showed what a real apple looked like, man. Mad as hell, I'm eating this red ass bell pepper, man. Right. We just in the stores before the Sabbath started, getting the stuff for us to make the sandwiches. We literally just standing there talking about how it's weird how we go in the store now. And you can't find no turkey product. It's a See, good thing, because that means more people is, you know what I'm saying, putting the swine down. But at the same time, Hopefully. you can't find the pork, you can't find the, the uh the turkey, the lamb, the lamb, the chicken price that went through the damn roof, but pork just falling off the damn shelves, man. See, 50 man? cent for a whole half a pig, man. Well, you know what, Lord willing, that shit stays on the shelf and nobody yeah. touch it, man. All right. Hopefully, they just had to throw the whole ham section away, man. We don't get the good right. foods like you said. All right. We got the damn GMO. Look, fake we, apples, fake bananas. Right. The Lord literally said so that we can eat the good things of the land, man. Now we in here eating the foul bread, man. Right. Eating the foul bread, man. Damn That's lettuce crazy. that they make out of some green liquid swirling it around like in water. Plastic. You seen it? Yeah, damn plastic. plastic bead made mixed in the rice. Man. Put it in the machine. See that? Metal shavings in the baby's damn Similac. You saw that? Yo, they just feeding us anything at this point, man. Yeah, man. Talk about your iron level. I ain't know I had iron in my blood, brother. Uh -uh. You know what I'm saying? They to feed you literal iron. That's what I'm saying, man. And, and destroyed the land. That's why the farmers is going crazy. Right. Because he saw them destroying the land to where you can't even grow nothing good. They got new things up in that chemtrail, too, I heard, man. Right? Brothers was talking about it on Clubhouse, man. Right? For a matter of fact, man, hey, hey, uh, isn't Elon Musk supposed to make something, yeah. so, something to kind of blot out the sun? Yeah. To, to kind of, yeah, he does, man. Oh, he looked like a damn reptilian fake. Nah. Damn. <laughs> Remember the old pictures when they used to show you about this with the aliens? Look, he looked like one of them niggas, man. Goddamn yeah. got yeah, damn man. slithering ass nigga. <laughs> See that, man? But, man. Long story short, man, Israel, stop messing up so that we can go home and get up out of this thing. Yeah. And that go for all of us, inside the truth or outside the truth, man. Uh. If brothers is out here standing here te trying to teach you this word, man, don't try to brush them off because we ain't out here for no damn reason. We ain't getting paid by nobody, man. We don't got no damn bucket on the ground looking for nobody's money, man. We out here putting our, our uh, youth at, 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 at risk, man bringing out this word, man. Huh. All right? So with that, I give all praise, honor, and glory to y'all about you, man. I'll shout, call me y'all something. Call, call me y'all something. Come on. Huh. 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 Close it up. Oh, close it up? You close it No. No? No. Now y'all is going. Yeah, he teaching. Yeah. I, I thought that's what y'all was rock, paper, scissor in about. <laughs> <laughs> in these last days. Our people still breaking the Sabbath, right? They still doing their own will, right? But you're supposed to be doing the will of the Most High God, right? This is the book of Psalms, right? Chapter 24 and verse 34. No! Look, 
34. Behold, that I have not labored uh, for myself only. So we're not out here laboring for ourselves only. We're not out here, right, to, to bring up this word just for ourselves. We don't. But for all them that seek wisdom, but, but for all them that seek wisdom, right? At least one or two people are going to walk down the street and want to seek wisdom. At least getting the, the wisdom, knowledge, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High God, right? Actually wanting to, to learn the secrets of the Bible, or to at least know, learn their nationality, right? Because in these last days, that's the most important thing, to learn your nationality, right? To learn more about your people, ultimately to learn about your God, right, Brenda? You see, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 11, and go, get thee to bed of the captivity. Right, so we're out here to go to our people of the captivity, right? Our people are in that captivity. Our people are still in captivity to this day, having to pay taxes, man, right? Having to work a nine to five for your devil oh, God. right? We don't. Unto the captivity, unto the children of thy people, right. speak unto them and tell them, thus saith the Lord God. Right, we're supposed to speak unto you, thus saith the Lord. Right, we're not supposed to speak our own our own vain opinions, man. Right? Not our own thoughts. Because our thoughts are not the most high God's thoughts, man. Right? And our ways are not his ways. So we have to come strictly out of the Bible every single time, right? To show you who you are. Right? right? To break down those strongholds that y'all have, man. Right? Because hey, we all grew up in a wicked society. We all grew up in America, man. Right? And even other places all around the world. Right? But all those things were going to bring us to death. Right? It wasn't going to bring us to life. Right? The so-called white man wasn't going to bring us to the, to the Bible to try to learn who we are. Right? He was going to teach his own doctrine. He was going to teach you the commandments of men. Right? He wasn't going to teach you the commandments of the Most High God. He wasn't going to teach you the doctrine of God. Right? right? He was going to teach you, teach you his will. Right? And we need to pay attention to the will of the Most High God, Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Right? Let me get uh, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 1. Let me get, uh, you get 2 Peter, right? Uh, I believe it's uh, 4 and verse 11. Or 1 Peter 4 and 11. What, Isaiah 8 and 4? No. Hey, man, because anytime you come out of the scriptures, hey, somebody going to understand. Right? Even the Christian pastor. They'll come out of the they'll come out of the scriptures. Hey, but somebody in that church, hey, they're gonna know that they speak in lies, man. Right? It's at least one person that's gonna know. Right? There's many of people that come go into Christianity and just come right out of Christianity. Right? Because they hey, they not believe in what the, the Christian pastor is telling them. Right? A lot of the times, hey, the Christian pastor will bring something out of the scriptures and try to use some objects, man. Right? They put you straight to sleep. Because you're not understanding that damn thing that come out of his mouth or even what he's doing. Right? This is book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So you have to speak as the oracle of God. The oracle of God comes strictly out of the scripture. Right? To show his people who they are. Right. And what's going on, brother? God bless you, brother. Hey, God, King. Hey, you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know your nationality according to the Bible? <laughs> Hey, come learn something, man. Give me like five minutes. All right, stand right here, man. Right? Stand right here. Check out this sign. Right? Stand up. Check out this sign, man. Right? Yeah, step in front, kid. Yeah, step in front. Watch out for the camera. All right. Right? So, we are here to teach our people they not nice right? Right. So, on this sign, they'll show you who you are. Right? Even the scripture, the Bible will tell you who you are. Right? right? But, what would be a race? Right? What would be a race? German says he's a Russian, says he's from Russia, right? But we Americans say we're African and American. Can't be uh, born at two places at the same time. 
So what are we? Right? That should be the question that we should be asking. That means we have to come back to what God called us. Right? Because the so-called white man called us black, African American, our ancestors. Right? African American was just put on us in uh, 1980. Right? So that means my grandparents are older than their own nationality. That don't make sense. So we gotta come back to what God called us, right? Let me get uh Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4, and let me get Cyrat, right? Chapter uh, 17 and verse 11. Right? Come on. Right? It's time to learn our nationality in these last days. Right? Because you're a young brother, right? And I am too. I'm only 20 years old. Right? And then and it's time for our young brothers to wake up in these last days because hey, we gotta be that strength. We gotta carry on this the, the legacy. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So we were going to discontinue from my heritage that the Most High God gave us. Let's find out what that heritage is. Right? It's the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life. For inheritance. For the what? For, for inheritance. inheritance. Right, so the Most High God gave us the law of life for inheritance. So we we, we discontinue from the law, right? Now, now discontinue from the law, you don't know who you truly are because you start keeping the law of the land, right? All our people, hey, they came off those slave ships, right? And they had to keep the law of their of their slave master, right? They had to do whatever he said, hey, everything on the land they had to do, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Let me get Micah, chapter 6, verse 1. Right? You know about slavery, right? Slavery? It's in the Bible. No. I bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Most High God said he was going to bring us into Egypt. Right? You know about Moses. He split the Red Sea, and he said, let my people go. Right? Now, when the Most High God was going to bring our people out of Egypt, he wasn't talking about physical Egypt, right? Because Egypt was destroyed at that time, right? Uh, uh, this is the book that Micah This is Micah, chapter 6 and verse 4. So now we have to find out what Egypt means. When the Most High God said he was going to bring us into Egypt, bro. For I brought thee up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of servants. Out of the what? Out, out of the, the house, house of, of servants. servants. So Egypt is synonymous for servants, or slavery, or bondage, right? Uh -huh. So when the Most High God said he was going to bring us into Egypt again, meaning he was going to bring us into a slave. Here you go, King. He was going to bring us into another slavery, right? How do we, how do we... No, nah, read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Most High God was going to bring us into another slavery again. With shit. With what? With shit. So, so how do we get over here uh, into America? Uh, we sailed on. Right, by shit. Right? That was prophesied over 2,000 years ago before it even happened. Right? So this proves that the Bible is true. This proves that hey, your history is in the Bible. Right. Right? Let's just, uh, no, we don't. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So we weren't going to see our homeland again. Why our homeland is Jerusalem, right? It's not Africa, right? Africa is not the motherland, right? Let me get uh, Galatians chapter uh, 4 and verse 26. We don't. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Weren't we sold? Yes. To who? To white people. But what did God call them? Enemies. Yeah. Enemies. Right? And they show it all all through the day, right? They show it for many of years now, right? You know? For bond men and bond women. So we were going to be slave men and slave women to the so-called white man, right? right? Even in, it's like it, even today, we got to be slaves for them, right? You can't live, you can't, you can't get an apartment, you can't get a house without getting the job, right? You have to work for the so-called white man so just so that you won't lay or sleep on this cold concrete, right? All right? You know? And no man shall buy you. And nobody was going to redeem us out of this, out of this captivity, but the most high. But yeah, I was shot. Right? Not Malcolm X, not Martin Luther King. They weren't going to do nothing. Right? They couldn't do nothing. That, they, couldn't, they couldn't do something that was against the most high God. Right? 
This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So now we don't keep the we don't we don't keep the laws of the most high God. Right? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So now we gotta serve our enemies, right? We gotta serve our enemies in one of all things. Well, we gotta work for the so-called white man. Yeah, hey man, a lot of times we don't even call it work, we call it the plantation. We call it slavery. Because that's all you're doing. Right? You working for your oppressor for, for money. No. Right? We don't. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. Right? For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. We made the we made the most high God angry. Right? Just like the most high God, he's our father. Right? Just like your 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 parents, right? Your dad. If you if you get him mad, right, if you don't do it, do your chores like he told you to, and he's gonna get angry. He might pull out the belt, right? Or he might lay hands on you. Right? So that's what the most high God is doing to us. That's why our people are in poverty. That's why you walk up and down the street. I, hey, our people got to take the bus, right? Our people, hey, they strung out on drugs, right? Our people smoking weed, smoking anything, man, right? But it's all from the most high. The most high, hey, he's angry at us because we're not keeping his commandments, right? So you are Israelite according to the Bible. Can you guys show the people, let's, let's get that dude around me, 7 6, right? I know it's cold out here, King. Let me get uh, uh, Matthew chapter uh, 24, verse 19. Uh, I'm going to give you these last two scriptures, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. So you are an Israelite, King, right? You got to know, know that in these last days. As being an Israelite, as, as Kanye West is saying it, and Kyrie Irving is promoting it, hey, you are an Israelite, and you got to keep the commandments of the Most High. Right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Most High God said, we're a holy people. We're separate from everybody else, right? We don't. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he's chosen you to be a special people, right? You're special, right? You're not like everybody else, right? We don't. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you're not equal to everybody. Everybody in your classroom, hey, you're not equal to them. Because the Most High God said you're above all people. Right? It doesn't matter how how many times somebody say, "Hey, we got the same blood. Hey, we got we got we got the same skeleton." Like no, same. right? We're not, we're all the same. No, the Most High God said that you're above all people on the earth. You're better right. than everybody. Right? And now you got to live like such. You're a king on this earth. God, God. right? Bring it. Matthew, this is Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse thirteen. Right. But he that shall endure. Up to the edge. So, hey, man, you enduring right now. This cold weather. Willing to stand out here to listen to words of the most high. Right? So he that endures unto the end. Right? You know? The same shall be saved. So the same people that endure to the end, they're going to be saved by the most high God. And Lord willing, you be saved, man. Right? So you got to continue to know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. And you got to keep these commandments. Right? Lord willing, you look on that flyer, you find that number. And you, you hit the brother up, man. We continue to build. Right? Uh, we need brothers like you out here, man. Uh, right? You guys chose to be. Everybody don't right. know that. Uh, the fact that you was able to get this knowledge is, hey, that's a blessing from the most high God. Uh, right? All right, King. Revelations 1 and 3. Yeah, one more, King. Revelations 1 and 3. Yeah. Log on to our channel real quick and subscribe to us. So whenever we put the videos up, you'll be able to tune in. What's the name of your called Brothers in Blood, H-O-R-I, so go to the Facebook, that's on there, House of Israel, Illinois, and then you'll be able to get the link from over there for the YouTube channel. Yeah. 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 Uh, you said one of our right? Bless, it's all right. It was Blessed is he that hear the word, okay. um, he that read. read. Yeah. 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 This is Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it up. Blessed is he that read it. Right? That brother is, hey, this brother is blessed for reading. Right? Oh. Both of these brothers are blessed for reading. Right? Any brother that's willing to read from the Most High God's book, man, hey, he's blessed. Read on. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And those that are willing to listen, right, gaining more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in these last days, hey, they're blessed as well. Right? Because not everybody's willing to, to endure this code and to actually gain the knowledge of the Most High God. Right? Read on. 
and keep those things which are written therein. And those people that keep the laws, keep the things that are written in this Bible, hey, they're blessed too, man. Right? You you might be double blessed, right? Because hey, you keep the laws, such as the commandments, the most high God gonna deal with you on a whole different level. Right. Hey, what's going on? Hey, y'all y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all know y'all nationality according to the Bible? Or y'all want to learn real quick? When them nukes hit your ass, you're going to be hollering this too hot. What'd you say, sis? Yeah, we, yo, we got one. All right, don't let the devil stop you from getting the word of God. His ass is going to be struck down by a bus. He keep disrespecting God. You're an Israelite, sis. You got to start keeping the commandments of the Mosai. Hey, at least. He ain't trying to get that work. And Jake over there on some thirsty shit. Look at that dope line ain't going nowhere. Yeah, too cold. I bet it ain't too cold for you to go where you finna go and goddamn profane the Sabbath, though, huh? He trying to hurry up and get there before they close the line down. <laughs> Damn, sir. It's going to be early for the line of Lake of Fire. Talk about it. It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> This word to y'all. We would do anything to bring out this word, man. Uh, right? To stand out here for many of hours, man. Right? And during it to the end. Right? Because you never know. Hey, most high might crack that sky and we right here, man. Stand uh, out for the most high God. Uh, right? Continue to bring out this word, man. Show my shot. 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 Oh, right? <laughs> Bring it up. Second entrance, chapter 70, verse 20. Bring it up. For there be many that perish in this life. So many are going to perish in this life, right? Because what? Because they despise the law of God. They what? They despise, despise the, the law of, of God. God. And that's what's wrong with our people. Y'all despise the law of God, right? Like the brother was bringing out, right? Mighty in the spirit. Hey, he was saying, hey. Y'all, y'all, after getting out of captivity, y'all, y'all pissed the Most High God off again and went right back into another captivity, right? Y'all despise the law of God, hey, and many of y'all are going to perish, just like the days of old. It's a lock, y'all. They've been in that situation. Get off punishment for two weeks. The same day you come off punishment, get right in trouble again because you so geeked up to be off punishment. Hey, man, to get put right back on punishment. Right. Even for a, a longer time, huh? And didn't that happen though? Right? We was in a captivity for like, what? Uh, 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 probably like seven years. Another for like. Judges. Yeah. Seven years, 24. And it kept on adding up, going higher and higher. Damn. And now we at the peak of it with 400 years. 400. I think, <laughs> hey, Jeremiah said is Israel a homeborn slave, right? God. Hey, man, I'm starting to think Israel. It's like Jake that been in jail too long, how they be institutional. Yeah, Israel is slave institutionalized, uh, uh, so It's like they don't know how to function unless somebody foot on their damn neck. Uh, uh, it's kind of like they, man, it's kind of, it's sad to say, but it's kind of like they want to be in slavery. Man. Yeah. Just uh, like, just like it's some people that, that want to be in jail, right? Because they ain't got, they ain't got nowhere to live. Uh, they don't rather be behind bars than out on No responsibility to keep, because in there you got free bed, Free heat, three meals all the time. You ain't even eating three times a day on the street. God. You and there getting three meals plus snacks. Uh, nah. That's real life. Yeah. That's, a, that's a dog mentality. God. You would rather live in a cage, man. Hey, man. Somebody else. What they say in the wilderness, man. You brought us all the way out here to kill all of us, man. We could have stayed in the damn captivity. Yeah. At least we would have had the red potage. Yeah, the fish. God. Yeah, man, man. We <laughs> They said we had the onions, the melons. Right. Like, uh, no, come on. Man. Man, we even had water to drink, man. God. 
Yo, Slocky, yeah. remember that uh, that song with Eve, that's killing? And you know that's gonna be like that again. Uh, so I'm gonna get saved, but in that time they're gonna wanna go right back to America. So we got we have section eight. Right. We, we want that, that honey baked ham. And ooh, man. Yo, I'm going to be furious, Lord, when I make it. I ain't going to lie. I'm putting hands on no, Put them in your house shy in the temple, man. Yeah, put, man. put the whole damn table over. Oh. And just start. Pull out the scourge God. and just start whooping. God, <laughs> man. Can't Cracking stop. backs in that thing. God. We can't have no wickedness in the kingdom of come, man. Yo, right, I, we can't tolerate it. Yo, Salaki, I just thought about it, man. If the Lord bring us to the wilderness, because in America, we restrict it. Because we got to uh, abide by the laws of Esau, all of that stuff. Right. So shit that we really want to do to take matters into our own hands, we can't do it. Can't do it. If the Lord bring us in that wilderness, it's going to be some... <laughs> Right. We just, what were we just talking about that in the store? Yeah. Damn Jake yeah. walked past looking yeah. like uh, trying looking like damn Janet Jackson on her Rhythm uh -huh. Nation album with the all black, got the crinkly curly damn uh, wig piece number 29 or whatever the hell they call it uh, and dressed in women's clothes tomorrow, strutting his gay ass <laughs> up on, like just off as hell, man. What they say in the law? Then so come standing right next to us at the damn register yeah. and I'm saying, I'm like, and I, before I knew it, I'm like, man, all this damn space in here, this motherfucker got to come stand right next to us. Right. Uh, and and Lust say, hey, they supposed to be put to death, right? Uh, come. And back then, hey, we was putting them to death, right? We can't do that. He said that. We yeah. said that in store, yeah. like, can't wait to the day we able to smite down. Uh, <laughs> right, man. We can't even do that right now, right? Because that, technically, that ain't using wisdom, right? Yeah, no. Uh-uh. We gonna be locked up forever. Damn right. a hate crime. They gonna put some other stuff on us, uh, right? That you ain't even do. If you ain't never getting out, hey, they ain't gonna see your face on YouTube no more. Your brothers ain't gonna be. You ain't gonna be able to gather with the brothers no more on the feast days. That's you gonna be the only say. Israelite in prison in front of a whole bunch of Muslims. Then you finna convert <laughs> them. And they had Talk about some Salaam Shalawa. <laughs> <God. laughs> As Hitler would put it, God. your ass is kaput. God damn Salaam Shalawa. You gonna be the real Islam United in <laughs> Yo, Islam United in Christ. This is going to hell off, man. She said, are y'all the Islam United in Christ? <laughs> yeah, they would have thought we paid somebody. Let's get, uh, let me get Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28. Uh, this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse 24. Bring it out! Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. So that man that was walking up and down the street or walking where y'all was at. Down the aisle? Yeah, at the grocery store. Hey, man. Woe is unto him. Because he don't want to keep the commandments. He want to continue his sin. Right, even for that brother that said he loves sin, right? Yeah, he right here. Willing, right. He wasn't, he, he didn't want to get out of it, right? Woe is unto him. Death and destruction is coming unto him. There ain't man. nothing we can do about it. Tell him, where that brother at right now? What did happen to him, man? man. He was passionate about it, too. Uh -huh. I love sin. Uh -huh. You just going to yeah. say it like that, huh? Yeah. Enthusiastically. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. So the I said, get the hell away from me. Oh. I don't want you nowhere near me. Get away from my sanctuary. Get away from my people, right? With all that faggotry, man. Huh. Right? A destruction that you're bringing around. Right? Far you know? God. A I bundle of sticks, man. Like, oh, fire. God. Yeah, campfire. Yo, he said, he said, defile not my sanctuary. That means sin to the most highest like us walking with, like he, like his sanctuary got all white carpet and we tracking blood into his sanctuary. Uh, he said, hey, not defile <laughs> my sanctuary. 
Hey, you got got that spot of red clay, man, on the white road. <laughs> Glad to charge you three hundred dollars a spot. <laughs> it says, "For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against Him." So the Most High God knows all them that sin against Him. He know your deeper secrets. He know everything about you, man. He know everything that you try to hide, right? Then you you can't get nothing past the Most High God. Read on. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. He's going to deliver you to death and destruction. Hey, and why, why the demons want to come out when I'm speaking, man? He said, one on, him and the demon going, he tomorrow some fight the demon one on one. I'll stab you, bitch. Yeah. But he, he probably actually think he's talking to something or someone. He, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah man. I talked to that person. It's sad. Y'all remember that book? Yeah, yeah. Now he got a bald head. He didn't have a bald head. He didn't. He had all his hair. On his head. His head and his hair was like wool. I know you're going to hell off. Not just his hair, it's just like wool. Right. Probably like crazy, man. You're going to hell off, man. Bunch of white castles, man. You're good. I know we're going to hell off. You're good, Hey, right when you hit Cottage Grove, there's going to be plenty of people up there. Yeah. Yep. I just saw you brothers. I was losing. Right, we appreciate it, appreciate King. We're all, all praise. You look like good brothers there. Nah, right. Hey, you a good brother Wait, too. Get up, brother. Give us some get food, up, man. Flyer, man. Right? Wait, hold on. Take this flyer real quick, man. Get up, brother. 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 You hey, said you got a couple of burgers. I got some knowledge to switch to. Can't at least donate to y'all. No, we don't. No, we don't take no. We don't do that. We don't do that. Y'all good brothers. I just was trying to share, man. Hey, look here. I sell cars, right? I use car business. Whenever I sell a car, I go back 90 white castles and get the 200 singles and hand out to the homeless. You know? And I'm almost, I'm almost out. Come on. Hey. Y'all helping brothers. Right. You got one of your cards on you? I love doing that. Hold on. You got one of your cards on you? He card, man. We were looking for you, man. Bless him. Bless him. He said 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 I ain't go to high school. I used to teach in Simeon, so I'm just saying. Oh, no, I went to Inglewood. A lot of boys from Simeon, all the boys from Simeon I know. Yeah, I went to Inglewood myself. We definitely need that business. Oh, no, Ken, you got it. You all good. I'm just trying to send love. We need to look out for each other. For real, man. Hey, Ken, man, for real, take it. Where at on South Chicago? 80s in South Chicago, I got a lot. I got a lot on 83rd and commercial right on the corner at Ritz Muffins. Y'all, the one right on the corner got the, like the little small liquor store right next to it or something? Like a little uh, store? 83rd commercial. No, it's about South Chicago. Uh, on South Chicago, it's a little bitty lot there. It's got Hondas in there. I mainly sell Hondas and Toyotas. Okay. Hey, can I give you a scripture real quick? Just one, right? Yes. We yes. are here to teach our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that they're Israelites according to the Bible. Right, not according to the so-called white man or any other, other oppressive person on this world. Right? According to the most high God. Right? Oh, hey, man, I got a I got a mid time for, for, for what you just asked me. Oh, 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 hold on, don't keep me out here long. Okay. Right, I got you, Let's get back. You see, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Like what we gotta do? Fear, fear God. God. We gotta fear God. Well, fear we gotta God. stop God. Fear. Right I don't fear God. I look at it different. I just love God and I serve God, but I don't like fear of God. So how do you love God? God. I, well, when I say love God, I, God is good. God is everything, and we love what God created. Like this is all God's creation, and what, what I try to do is love God and serve God. Like I said, I got a little bit of knowledge, but I love God. Like I said, 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 I love God. I love God and love the world, just like me. I'm out here now trying to feed people. Wow. That's loving God. That's loving the world. That's it's making changed. the world a better place. It might not, might not be what you are, but I believe in just touching the world in a 
positive fashion, any kind of way I can. Now, if I have to get into an argument with somebody, I want to back away and get away. I don't want to cause no distress and no negativity. I just want to good, just do good. And I ain't no saint, and I ain't no minister. I'm just a nigga. I grew up in the project. Right. Hey, so you say you want to do good. According yeah. to the scriptures, it says the law is good. Yeah. So for you to be good, and you got to keep the law of statutes of the law as a digital. Right? Yeah. That's your nationality. Okay. Right? Right? Okay. Right? 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 What do you mean? That's what you want to do. Those, those aren't requests from God. Those are what? Commandments. Commandments. He's not asking you. He's not asking you to do that. He's telling you. Exactly. He's not saying, hey, Willie. He's telling you what to do. And so what we want to do is follow that. Like I have a son that I wish he could get John chapter 14 verse 2. I have a son that he got money and he's blowing up and big stuff. But he don't believe in honoring his mother and father, you know. Mm. He got, you know, I, I give him everything in the world. His mother got killed when he was two. So I raised him. He got everything. He got too much money. But he's so big, he don't want to listen to his dad. His dad loves him more than anything. But he, he called me. He said, oh, dad, you a bitch. You ain't got money like wow. that. Yeah, I do like this. I'm like, what? Hey, so lock it, man. Don't don't the Bible say that he if you're guilty of breaking the least of the commandments, you're guilty of breaking them all, right? So we know about the Ten Commandments, right? And we we set our heart to try to keep the ten. What if I told you, according to the Bible, that it's actually six hundred and thirteen? I can believe that. So if you're not keeping the other six hundred and three, then I'm not no. You're guilty of breaking all of the law, so you might want to learn what some of the other commandments are, because just keeping the ten ain't enough. They can't just go to the Bible. One, it would be a and like and like we say, love and love, love is not a, it's not a feeling. Hey, listen to this Love isn't a feeling. Love is an action, right? I believe that. So let's see how God says you have to love, right? He's telling you this is how you love. Right, let's get John chapter 14, verse 15. Let me do this. Man, brother, this is the book of John. You calling out? You calling out? I don't hear that. God, this is the book of John chapter 14, and verse 15. If you love me, so if you love me, right? Who is he speaking? Christ. This is Christ speaking, right? Everything that Christ was speaking, hey, the Most High God taught him this week, right? So in general, hey, the Most High God is saying. Uh, right, so if ye love me, if you love the Most High God, we don't keep my commandments. Do what? Keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. You love God, you have to keep His commandments. That's how you show that you love me inside God. You, 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 I gave you my number, right? Uh, hey, hey, bro. We gave you our school. Okay, okay, but listen, I, I, I have you got the flyer? Disorder. I have a sleep disorder and I sleep late every day till eleven. But call me one day after eleven. I got gloves, winter uh, gloves for all you guys. Uh, I, uh, not only do I feed the homeless. But I go buy two or three thousand dollars worth of gloves a year, and I go to the schools where the kids, well, not where I live, but, but where the kids are real poor, and they come out the screen, and, and they come out like this. Oh, uh, yeah. The school of hands out, pass out gloves. Oh, and really? I love doing that. And, and it's like, I love what I'm, I, listen to this. I told you I ain't no saint, but I am a stepper. You know what a stepper is? Yeah, yeah you saw it, man. Yeah, I step, and I, I know all about that, and I like that. But I love my wife, but I still go out stepping. But more than oh, one, I wanted to go out there and decide to the homeless, you know. Oh, I love, I love doing that. I, I love giving it to people that are less fortunate than you. Right, let me give you one more scripture. Man. <laughs> <laughs> God, I like you, man. Thank you, man. Hey, one more scripture, one more scripture. Like this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the... The whole conclusion of what we're talking about, right, Rudolph? Fear God. So you have to fear God, Rudolph. And keep his commandments. Throughout this whole Bible, you're going to hear how the Most High God wants an Israelite to keep the commandments. Right, Rudolph? For this is the whole duty of man. This is why he was created as a man, to keep his commandments. You have to be a servant unto the Most High God, right? Not a servant to these other nations, man. Right? Ultimately, to be a servant to the Are Most High God. Are you No, we're not Jewish. We're Jew. We're Jew. True Jew. Okay, the word is means to pertain to. Right? Okay, okay. You guys are like the real Jews, not like the Jews in Skokie that have the same kind of way. Exactly. Like I grew up 
in a white community that's called down in South Germany in the 50s and 60s. And then I moved to South Shore, which was an all white Jewish community. And yeah. I lived around all synagogues everywhere. Oh, now, I look at life like this. My parents brought me up in a really nice community. When you live around the Jews, you live around people with what? Money. 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 Hey, so my, my parents brought me up in a good community compared to... You gotta be me. careful. They're gonna say you anti-Semitic. Shut your car lock down. But I was around the Jews. And I don't like the Jews that uh, took Palestinian... Palestine, you know, took over that and uh, took Israel, you know, took that land. Took our homeland. They, 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 they took the land, you know, and uh, they claimed it for themselves. And, and then treat the people whose land it really is like shit. And then, and, and don't love them. You're supposed to love each other. They don't love them. They don't show love. They don't show love. Let me get out of here, man. Hey, hey, hey Case, this is the one. one Revelations one. chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So he knows that the Jews are in tribulation and they're in poverty. The real ones, right? The real Jews. Poverty? Oh, yes, oh, the real oh, Jews real. are supposed to be in poverty. Right, right throughout right the whole world, you, hey, everybody's saying, hey, the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, right, are in poverty, yeah, right? The Most High God right. said, hey, he knows our works, tribulation, and poverty. He knows what we're going through, okay. right? The real Jews, you know? Now, remember, your son said you're, you're poor, right? Well, look no, at the price no, 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 no. He's he saying you're not rich, right? Uh, so you ain't got me, no money. So you ain't got no money, right? Look no, at, look he, don't price say, he never said I don't know. He said, you know, he, he, no, he never said I have money because, listen, he can't say that I have money. I have like 30 cars. I have homes. I, I just bought a 10 car garage today. He, but uh, he got crazy money. Right, this little guy, he's 32 years old. He got, I live in a regular house on Oglesby, but he got a bunch of quad level cows, you know, that. But all blessings are blessings. I sold dope for 30 years. This guy, he's selling weed, man. He's selling the weed game. The weed shit is blown up just crazy, you know. But I don't care how much money you got, man. You love your dad and mom, man. You, you, you know, you honor your dad and mom. You know, even if you have a disagreement with them, you disagree, but you don't honor them. You honor them, because that's the commandment. You honor your parents. Man, look, look, look. Look what he said. Look what he okay, said. I know that it works in tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. What? 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 Hold it! What? What? What is that? Which one is Revelation that? Revelation two and nine. Revelation chapter two and verse nine. This is Revelation two nine. Yeah. So when you're talking that's about the I Jews, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I need to spit at some of these Jews. Yeah. When you're talking about those Jewish people around you. Now you said they're rich. No, you say, no. When I say when I, what I'm saying is they with, with they money, money they control right. they they right. control the they, they control the finances. You know? Right, and uh, and that's them being rich, brother. Be careful money that they got from us by selling us on the slave trade. They all kind of ways, not just selling down. Right. right, all kind of ways they sell everything. Now watch this. Now they don't say he's being anti-Semitic. They're gonna shut his car lock down. You better stop telling people they got money. Listen, man. Oh, listen, man. I am so anti-Semitic, man. I am so anti-Semitic. You can't be anti-Semitic because you're all Semitic. You're Semitic. You are Semitic. You can't be anti-yourself. Right. Well, I'm anti. You're the real Jew. I was plugged in with some Jewish boys, and I was making over two hundred thousand a year with these Jewish boys. And they start, a couple of them branched off, and they start talking about that Trump, that Trump stuff, that Trump stuff. And when they talk about that Trump, I said, they mentioned Trump, that just fires me up. Like, I, I threw out all that, the contracts that we had with them, all that stuff went out the window, because I had to tell them, the racist white asses, how they really were. And what they do now is have to respect me, but they don't like me. Uh, White men do not like no black yeah. men that stand up for the people. That's right. uh, and uh. the only the only people that they don't like more than black people that stand up for their people are white people that stand up for black people. Uh, they right. hate a white man that just, just, just like a, a that, 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 that little white boy that has shot the white boys with AR-15. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, With yeah. The little uh, white boy that shot, and then he got he beat the cake. Uh, yeah, he, he, he said, that wasn't racist. Yeah. That wasn't racist yeah. as it comes, man. That white, he said, that's a white boy killing white boy. 
That's why you would kill white men that were standing up for black people. Right. White people hate a white man that stands up for black people. Yeah. And they will tolerate a black man, right. but they hate a black man that stands up for people. Exactly. And that's what I do. Oh, God. I can you an Islam out of going to the Bible. Right, you know, I'll happily bring you guys gloves. I have gloves for you guys. Oh, we, right. might, we, yeah, might, we might have, we might, slide on you, man. Come check out the car lot. See what you're yeah, working yeah. with, man. Okay. Right, what's y'all's name? I'm Dayala. Hey, so, I'm Dayala. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Say the Hebrew is your life down right. there. H-O-I. 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 H-O-I.
See, not knowing is one thing, but you doing charitable works, man. The Lord looks highly favorable upon charitable works, man. Wow, this is the time that he he needed to he needed to compound your charitable work with knowledge now. Right. By having him run across us and get that little quick little couple of precepts for him and, and uh, opened his eyes up, took the flyer, you know what I'm saying, swap. Hey, man, we might have to ride down on him just yeah. under yeah. false yeah. pretense. Yeah. We ain't trying to buy no car, but just to build with him and keep building that brother up. Because this might be what the Lord need him to come in contact with to match his charitable works. He need uh -huh. to understand that keeping the laws goes with doing that charity. You already doing this, Will. You see, he got the beard on his face. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you waking up. You waking up. Give us a three box away. Question, man. Remember, you didn't order. We just. You know that box cost set, what was it, $40, man? $40, man. We just bought them three boxes up, man. Shit. It's lucky. That shows like, remember this picture, Isaiah 65. 60 damn burgers. He want to get give brothers donation. Yeah. Isaiah 65, the Lord said, my servant shall eat. The Lord can put this word on anybody. Don't be starving over nobody. Brother will pull up. Like, yo, I got you with this and that. Yep. Ain't never seen you a day in his life with something in his mind told him, hey, let me cross around there. Somebody might need this. Man's going is of the Lord, man. The Lord brought him this way. I say go to Sandy Night Cottage. He said, that's why I was on my way. But I saw y'all brothers. Y'all look like some righteous, some good brothers, man. Uh, so I said, I'm going to stop and try to give it to y'all. That was the spirit. Right. Then he jumped dead out, come right out of his pocket with the bankroll, stopped yeah. pulling off money. I want to put a dough out. No, we don't want your money, bro. Right. We whether you stand here and do what you just did. Get this word, man. That's all we want. We don't want the money. We want the time, man. That's all we want. In the open ear, right? And actually being able to humble down. Because the brother at, at his age, a lot of them not going to humble down like that. Well, no, they ain't going to humble down. A lot down. of them not doing what he's doing. Huh? That's the old, that's pride and overload. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Overkill pride. <laughs> the Baruch, chapter 2 and verse 30. Bring it out. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, right? But in the land of their captivity, but in the land of our captivity, where we are right now in America, right? in, in dirty Chicago, right? We don't. They shall remember themselves. We, hey, that brother was going to remember himself, right? Oh. right? The Most High God brought him here to remember himself, right? We don't. They shall know that I am the Lord, their God, right? So, hey, that's a, a lot of times that's what brothers bring up, that the Most High God is your God and your God only, right? So, hey, you know, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And that brother oh. had he, he took the time out to actually listen to the scriptures, right? No matter how cold he was, hey, he was willing to listen to that last scripture, right? Oh. Because a lot of people, hey, they ain't got time, oh. right? Hey, you see how the brother just went past? He ready to damn fight the sister because she come back to hear the word and get the flyer. He down there. Y'all probably didn't see him, but he's standing at the corner right there, stomping his feet and torquing his body, going, uh, having a damn fit because she coming uh, back to him. Hey, dude. You know what's crazy? How she adjourned the elements more than he is. That's, and that's the crazy part. You know it's the other way around usually. It's usually the other he way ain't around. He to come, come on. Yep. He, he, he gladly just wanted to you know? Yep. And it was just a, a roll with Oh. Huh. Right? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And that's what we want our people to do. To give praises to the Most High God even in the captivity. Because even in our captivity, the Most High God wants us to have a, a, a little bit of peace. Right? A form of peace. Right? Because he told us to build houses, plant vineyards, and have kids, man. Uh, right, that's a form of peace, right? We don't. So like it, that that falls under being content with the state that you in. Right. That's the rain. That's the only remnant that you need to be concerned about. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about tomorrow and all that. Just as long as you got a roof, clothes, food in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? That's all you are supposed to be good with. Uh, 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 and, and think upon my name, right? That's what we want our people to do. To think about the Most High God. Right? We want our people to think, hey, if they, if they going off, hey, think what the Most High God did. Man. Right? What do you think the Most High God is thinking while you're doing those things? Right? We want our people to think about the Most High God. Because a lot of our people, hey, the Most High God is not on their mind at all. Man. Right? Why y'all damn 
down, yelling loud, loud, loud every minute of the hour, you yeah. know, right? Yeah. Or trying to buy that off the person, you know? Right? The most I got is not on y'all mind, right? You know? And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. And that's what we want that brother to do, to turn away from the stiff neck. Right? Any false things that he's going through or any wicked things that he's doing, hey, we want, we want help to change. Right? right? And come back to the most high God. You know? For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And we, we that's what we are here for. To show y'all where our forefathers went off so we could learn from their mistakes. Right? Right? Because, hey, this Bible was written for our learning. Everything in here is for an example. We're supposed to be we're supposed to be learning from these examples, right? Our people wanted to go back into Egypt, wanted to go back into slavery, eat that dirty swine. Hey Amen. The most high God showing you, hey, when you come in this truth, don't go back to hey, don't go back to your wickedness. Don't even want to go back to your wickedness. Right? Even if, even even if sometimes you fall off, you shouldn't want to stay there. Right? You should want to get back up and, and push forward, going ten times harder, twenty times harder for the most high. Right, read on. And I will bring them into the land, uh, again into the land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. Right, and if you remember yourself, the Most High God will place you right back into your, into your land. Right, right? you're promised mansions, man. You're promised land, right? You're down there promised a country, man. A whole side of the earth, man. Right? Only if you come back to these laws, man. Lot, I was watching this film, uh, one video with a brother that had a dream, man. Uh, he said, he said, yeah, I wish I'd come back, right? With all the angels. And he said he started seeing planets behind him start to move closer to the earth. Like, like millions of planets start to all move closer to the atmosphere of the earth. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I wish I was like, hey, Oh, you, this is yours. Oh, hey, you, this is yours. Hey, ah, home, that's what I was yours. Yo, I know we were talking about that before. We were talking about that. I was like, yeah. if he's all right about having those yeah. planets out there, right? Them, them yeah. planets are there for a reason. Those right? are the matches, man. Right? God. Those are the real. Reason. Yeah, he said, yeah, I was, I was saying, like, yo, boom, this, that corner right there, right, that planet right there, that's yours. Boom, uh, boom, that's yours. Planets, oh, goddamn! Oh, you know how amazing that's going to be? And <laughs> even with that, do you know how many kids we going to have? Oh, get it, To man. fill up a whole planet house? You, you a righteous The planet of not near to the planet. What? <laughs> like, Hey man, Gadden them got a taste of it, man. When they came over here and it was just them, man. Uh, South America. They got a taste of it. Uh, to be the only people that have it in a whole damn continent. Right. By they self. Uh, that's me. Yeah, hey, that's powerful, man. Yeah. Oh. We trying to get back to that. Cause, Cause like, <laughs> hey, it be sometimes hard. Well, no, a lot of the times it be hard for Jake and Eve to get out of the hood of Chicago. But damn it, it's damn near harder to find a place in Chicago. Uh. <laughs> like, uh, that's the crazy part. Cause. That's why. That's why the most how was he was more harsher with them than he was with us. Ooh. With the Northern Kingdom, man. He gave them more than he gave us. God. Jake ain't not well. They had on the map Judah land, but no. Northern Kingdom had a whole damn continent, man. <laughs> he gave them, hey man, that's, and they and they went the hell on first. God. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Old times. They went the hell on first, man, and he blessed them ridiculously. Yeah. So just imagine what, not you know, what our blessing gonna be when we get our turn to get blessed, man. God. If they got a whole continent, man, hey. You got to think about it. Who was, uh, who was, uh, who, who got they land first? Right. Was uh, it, was it Reuben? It was Manessa, Manessa, Reuben, and, uh, Gat. Now, who was the last? Judah. Right? Judah was last, yeah, man. Yeah, Judah went to Simeon. Yeah, Judah told Simeon to come with him to help him get his yeah. land. Yeah. So Northern the Kingdom yes. got they king, got they got they land first. Yeah. And Southern Kingdom got theirs, you know, last. So I mean, hey man. Hey man, and, 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 and look, and even though Yahweh Shah came to die, you know what I'm saying? He died, he came down here for all of us. Primarily, he came back for the Northern Kingdom. Yeah, because 
Yeah, because know. they're the ones who went the hell off and simulated into the other nations. That's why when he went into Samara, you know what I'm saying, he was going to all of them to pull the Northern Kingdom back. Right. I'm kind of starting to wonder, man. Man, he liked them more than us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, the Judah, because Judah, them, hey, he ain't talking about them. He talking about Judah when he say y'all some stiff neck, hard hair, rebellious ass people, man. Because he came with his own, his own received it not. You see, because he from Judah. So he like, man. They just laughed and scoffed. Even, even with that. Man. Like, see, that's why I don't like dealing somebody. with y'all, man. Judah got to be Hey, y'all going, this going to hell off now, bro. Uh, <laughs> Judah got to be roused up, man. He got to, and then everybody got to look at him, man. I'm going to have to start a Follow fight with the Northern the Kingdom, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 really Y'all went the hell off, man. Yeah. I'll go that out, man. And I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with uh, an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Oh. And they shall be lords of it. Right. And, we, I, and I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. Hey, what? The most I go increase us even more. In numbers, in everything. Huh? So, I'm led to believe. I'm led to believe. Earth ain't the only planet. Yeah, if you're going to increase us that. more, that yep. got to be in numbers. In, in, you know, now I'm thinking numbers right now. we going to fill up Earth, and we need another planet to to be increased though. Oh. The other one, the other one, I mean, the other one, uh, y'all all, oh, man, he was saying the same thing. He, he literally had a video, man. Saying that he failed to believe, he, he don't want to believe that the planet is there for no reason. They're not there for you know no what I'm saying? Reason. And for us to be at the sand of the sea, man, hey, the Lord that great, man. And then he going right. to increase us more, though. Yeah. Hey, you seen the movie with Jet Li back in the damn 90s, uh, The One? Yeah. How he was on yo, yourself. That's what Esau and them get that from, man. That time dimensional stuff where you you exist on another planet. God. Man, well, who's to say your spirit ain't been jumping from one planet to the other in your regenerations, God. man? Hey, man, you, you went the hell off on that other planet, man. So when the Lord took the spirit from you, he regenerated you on another planet. Uh, you know what I'm saying? To try to get it right this time. Everybody that is on this line, this this conversation that we having, this is even more encouragement that to get the kingdom, right? To go ten times harder for the most time. Don't you want a planet? And they actually get some insight because these type of conversations we normally have when we at the crib, you know what I'm saying? We chilling amongst ourselves. We you know we hypothesize a little bit. <laughs> He's still trying to kill the demon, man. You want to die right here? Yeah, hey, at least they fight, man. You know? Not trying to let it... Okay, that's another... Yeah, that's another Jake, man. That's yeah. how... Demons, man. That's them damn drugs, man. I tell you. They're smoking them goddamn crack rocks and them tooting them damn herons and stuff, man. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people uh, of Israel out of the land that I have given them. So after this captivity, it ain't no more going into another captivity. Huh? The Most yeah. High God is not going to draw us uh, away from our land no more. Right? He's going to keep us on our land. There ain't going to be no more crying, no more pain. No more wars, and we gonna be living. Hey, we gonna be living that life, man. Not the American life, that 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 Israelite life, man. Right? Right. The life that the Most High God promised us, right? Let me get these few. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty, uh, twenty-eight and verse thirty-seven, and let me get Isaiah chapter forty-four. Forty-four, fourteen. Forty-four, fourteen. Forty-four, fourteen. Yeah. Well, no more than what it is. Because I didn't even really think about the time turn like, what the fuck is doing stuff? <laughs> That's how I turned around and I was like, I'm about to say, man, I thought somebody went past in the car and threw some stuff out the car. Uh, now, so we got a lot of people, right, 
and it's, it's often, it's like every time, right? We got people that walk up and they say these by words, right? Girl. African American, but they say they're Negro, they say they're black. Uh, 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 our Northern Kingdom brothers and sisters say they Latina, Latino, or 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 I'm a uh, I'm an Indian, right? But those are by words and those are curses that the Most High God put upon us, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. Right. Uh, and thou shalt become an astonishment, right? A proverb, right? And a byword. So we became a byword, right? I'm gonna I'm get on uh, being a byword, right? Because we, we didn't want to listen to the Most High God, right? We we discontinued from our heritage from keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. So the Most High God made us a byword, right? This is the book of Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 13. The carpet, the carpenter stretch out his rule. He make it in out with the line. Jake and them out here walking around in this cold ass weather with crocodile shoes on, man. I know your damn feet feel like ice blocks. Psalms, chapter 44, and verse 13. 14. 14. Now, thinking us a byword among the heathen. So, the Most High God made us a byword among the heathen. Right? Read off. A shaking of the head among the people. And that's what these other nations do. They shake their head at us. They look down on us. Right? They look at, they, they be like, look at these destroyed Negroes, man. Or these destroyed Israelites. Because they know who we are. Right? And they all they they all know that the Most High God made us a Bible. Right? We know. This is Psalms, chapter 80 and verse 6. Thou makest us a strife. Unto our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Wait, read that again. Psalms 80 and verse 6. Thou makest us a strike unto our neighbors. Right, so the Most High God made us go against our neighbors, man. Made us go against our own people, right? That's why it's black on black crime because the Most High God made us strike against our, na our neighbors, right? We don't. And our enemies. Right, and our enemies, you know? Laugh among themselves. And, and our enemies laugh at us, man, when they see a, a Jake uh, uh, trying to destroy his brother, man, right? Or trying to see Eve destroy her own sister, right? Seeing us fight is what, is what makes us entertaining uh, to the heathen, man, right? It's like them watching TV but having front row seats to the movie, man, right? They laugh at us while we see us, while, while they see us destroying ourselves, man. Right, Rudolph? Turn us again, oh God. Right, that's it, old man. Bring it up. Uh, There's a book of Lip, Lamentations, chapter 2, and verse 9. Lamentations, chapter 2, and verse 9. Right, read it off. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. Right. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city of men? Uh, is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Right, so they, hey, these other nations look at our people like a damn movie screen, man. right? And they clap their hands, they applaud because, hey, they know, hey, they, they, they finally destroyed us, right? Read on. All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. It's so lucky. They ask, right? Is this the city? Is this is this the city that all these people talking about? Are these really the true uh, Israelites, man? Right? They acting like this? Right? They killing their own brother? Right? They selling their sisters out? Right? They helping the so-called white man sex traffic our own sisters, man? Right? Read on. All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash their teeth. They say, 
we have swallowed her up, right? They say, hey, we destroyed them, man, right? We have destroyed them, right, for their lack of knowledge, man, right? They're not willing to give you your history, right? They make you think that your history starts at 1619, man, right? When our slavery started, right? They they don't want to talk about hey the kingdoms that we uh that we ruled over right right they don't want to talk about hey we taught them everything they know they don't want to give no account of our labor right the Salaki even if you want to go back to the Northern Kingdom in 1492 dealing with Columbus you had to you had to go back 50 years beyond that to 1440 when Prince Henry was stealing our people and sending them over in Portugal. Way before Columbus was doing it, Prince Henry of Portugal was stealing our people and them and, and uh, shipping them back to the islands and stuff see? as uh, slaves. Right? And uh, that, see, that's the problem with our people. A lot of our people don't like history because the only history that they're being taught is the so-called white man's history. Right. Right? But when it comes to their history, hey, they turn on the damn slavery movies and stuff like that. Uh, right? They're not showing you how we rule kingdoms. They're not showing you how we built up everything, man. right? They don't want to show you what, hey, how glorious and, and, and how holy you are, right? But we're out here to give that knowledge, you know? Certainly, certainly, this is the day we look for. We have found, we have seen it, right? Read that again. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. So the heathen says, certainly, this is the day that we have looked for, right? Niggas breaking the Sabbath, right? Niggas eating shrimp crab, lobster, and pork. Y'all killing each other. The now KKK leader went on Facebook and said, hey, we ain't even got to come after you Negroes no more. All we got to do is dump guns and drugs in the middle of y'all city, man, and y'all kill y'all selves. Right? So, hey, they, they wanted this day to come, and all y'all doing is just putting into it. Man. Right? There we go. We have found, we have seen it. We have found, we have seen it. And they say, hey, we've seen it, right? I can't tell you how many Edomites I see walk up and down Obama, right? They see the destruction, huh? And it's in the scripture, a book that was written way before this time, right? So, hey, they see you destroy yourself and they laugh at you. They damn near grab a bucket of popcorn and watch you destroy yourself, man. Right? But the Most High God found another way, right? He made another way, right? He brought out his servants to give y'all this knowledge so y'all could wake up in these last days and actually love y'all people, man, and come out of this wicked society so that y'all won't be by words no more, so that you'll be able to, hey, call yourself the Israelite. So that you won't discontinue from your heritage no more, so that you actually come back to the law statute of the man. Right? Let me get uh let me get Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 5. That's a lot, Some points. That's crazy. What you said about the KKK and the CIA basically to have all of them saying we in order to get rid of you niggas, we just gonna get the guns and just drop it in y'all corners and let y'all kill each other. That's how destroyed our people are. Because if you are smart, you will understand your enemy is arming you. You can take the weapons and use it against him. Exactly. But instead, he's arming you with weapons, and instead of using it against him, you're using it to destroy each other. That's number one. And number two, you talking about the Edomite. I was at the gas station earlier, and you had Esau. That man, he, 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 man. Yeah, if you ever, if you, you smell the man that smelled like cigarettes, that was him, man. <laughs> and he was just talking to Jake on the, like, he smoking them, the yeah. Marlboros, yeah, Pale like, Mills, like, and Winston's. <laughs> yeah, he was talking on the counter and said, Yeah, you know, talking about his dog. Yeah, camel that. cigarette. Yeah, straight up, man. I was like, Yo. Man, isn't that what I gasped for, man? And he, yeah, he, he smokes camels and Marlboros, man. What, the cigarette and the yeah, animal? We told him about no, the line. He said he's going to try to stop it. You know? Oh, he, he it's lucky. And yeah, Pops told me to tell y'all, man, when I went down to his job the other day, he was like, hey, you, 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 you seen them two young boys? I said, yeah, I seen them, I talked to them. He said, hey, you make sure you tell them. They right, they right. I said, right about what? About their goddamn pork. I went to the store the other day, boy. I was going to give me some pork, but I ended up grabbing me some damn uh, beef bacon. Oh, 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 he, no damn, he said, oh, you know, I don't like no damn turkey. 
but I ain't get the pork. Oh. <laughs> they right. They right. Oh, God. <laughs> all, you know, all I can say was, all I can say, all I can say was all praises, man. Oh man, he said to tell y'all, whenever y'all ready, man, come to the house, man. <laughs> He say, he say, I like them two young brothers. I like them two young brothers. You tell them they come to the house. Whenever y'all get ready, you bring them over there by the house, man. They right. They right. I ain't that damn part. He was giving us a hell of food, that thing, man. Let me get a boot to the 15th. Then he tapped me on the shoulder, man. He was like, man. I'll tell you when I tell you that point, man. <laughs> and we thought he was not going to stop it. I said, it does. Cap been man. down there to, to, the, to the gig, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. One day when y'all got to have a team, what? 15. 15 and 7. Yeah. No, no, no. 15 and verse 5. You get a uh, boot. Chapter 15 and right. This is about to Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 5. Bring it out. For who shall have pity on thee, O Jerusalem? So who's going to have pity on you? Right? I'm looking for the boot. You, now you know, man. He be, he be, he be trying to, he be looking through my scripture no, to see I what don't. I got highlighted, man. <laughs> I don't even, no, I don't. Well, I'm trying to say, he's trying to say he's precept jacket, huh? Yeah, that is the spirit. When I be sweet, I be getting my pages wrong. Hey, he's trying to say you precept jacket, huh? Right, I'm not looking for this precept. Oh, man. Bring it out, bring it out. Y'all always trying to get it back. Study it, man. I ain't talking to you about it, man. Well, who saw... For who shall have pity on thee, O Jerusalem? Right, so who's going to have pity on you so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans? Right. right, you know? Spirit, I, or who shall be on thee, All right? right? Or who shall go aside and ask how thou doest? Who's going to ask you, hey, how you doing? Right? Who's going to ask you, hey, what you need to get through the day, man? Huh? Right? Who's going to ask you, hey, how the family doing? Right, read off. Thou hast forsaken me, said the Lord. You just said, hey, you just forgot about the Most High God, right? You never, hey, you just stopped putting your trust in the Most High God, man. You forsake the Most High God, read on. For, for thou art gone backward. You went backwards, man, right? Read on. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repentance. So now the, so like you, read, read that part. I am weary with Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Read a little bit more. Therefore will I stretch out my hand yeah, against thee. So now the most high God is against you because now, hey, you're against the most high God. Yeah. Right? Read on. And repent uh, and destroy thee. He's going to destroy you, man. He is going to kill you if you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right? Read on. I am weary with repentance and he is tired of his hell. Right? Of repenting, man. The Most High God shouldn't even have to repent to a people hey, if, if you just kept his law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, if you just do what he say. It hurts to us to even have to think that, hey, the Most High God got to say he's sorry. Right? Because the Most High God did nothing wrong, man. The Most High God did everything righteously, man. Right? But our people are just wicked. Right? So the Most High God is tired of repenting. Now he's, hey, he's fed up. Wait, what does he do when he's fed up? He's going to kill you. Right. There ain't no coming back. You're gonna die your iniquity. Hey, and you gonna get that, you gonna get that spiritual ass whooping. Because uh -huh. he already gave you the, the physical ass whooping, right? Here on earth. But now he's gonna take you out, get your spirit going right back to hell, and he gonna give you that spiritual ass whooping. Right? So hey, we gotta come back to these law statutes and commandments so that we won't be a byword anymore. Right? We know. This is Luke! Chapter 15 and verse 10. Hey, man, this, this, this is for your pumps, man. Right? <laughs> hey, man, that just got us happy. Oh, yeah, ain't a lot. Oh, no. Read it out. Luke 15 and 10. Like what? I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God. There is what? There, there is, is joy in the, in the presence, presence of the angels of God. God. What we got? There, there is joy in the, in the presence, presence of the angels of God. God. Right? Over one sinner. That repent over one man that repents over that one man that didn't want to pick up that pork but pick up that beef bacon. Oh, and the angels, hey, that could be translated to a messenger, right? God. Because God. hey, who else was called angels? Uh, uh, what was that scripture? That's uh, Moses, Amos. Yeah, it was Amos. Yeah. Uh, 
Ezra, Abraham. Huh, so hey, God, us being the angels of the Most High God, huh? we rejoice because a brother repents. Right? A brother don't want to pick up the pork bacon no more. He want to pick up the beef bacon. And look, that's a lot here. And right, and before, I forgot, before he said, before he went to the grocery store, he said the night before he went to the restaurant to get him a burger. And he said when he came out, the, out the, the store with the burger, he went to sit in his car, he opened the food up to take his food. He said the lady had put turkey bacon on his damn burger. Oh. He said he took the burger back in there and said, hey, I don't eat no goddamn turkey. You can put this turkey on my burger. So the lady was like, well, you want me to exchange it out and flip it out and all that? And then the next day, when he went to the grocery store, he said he went right past the pork. <laughs> God, man. And that's what we wanted, man. That's he got his sign early. He got his sign the night before. Crazy. <laughs> yep. What do you better get out, man? That's a glorious thing, man. I like them two and young his, brothers. And his feast of dedication tomorrow. I best believe we're going to party just like this. The scripture says we're supposed to. This is Luke chapter 15 and verse 10. It out. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God. There is what? There, there is joy, joy in, in the, the presence, presence of, of the angels of, of God. God. Over one sinner, there repentance. So we're going to continue to be glad, happy, joyful over one man that repents, man. Come! As long as we reach one brother and we did our job. Come! Come yourself! Come yourself! Come yourself! Come yourself! Come yourself! Come yourself! Come! Man, like the brother said, man, the joy in the presence of the angels of God, man. Rock it through your house! 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 Rock it through your house, 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 Kingdom over everything. 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 No surrender, no retreat. 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 You gonna get this work. 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 Can I get a card? Card.